Reconnected episode 21. Go grab a beer or something with us today, guys. We are live today on YouTube to present you guys Reconnected episode 21. My name is Blazzy. (laughs) Be lazy. The laziest be of them all. And I'm with Yura. Yuri. Introducing your name, I feel like, on the 21st podcast. Be lazy. Okay. Well, you know... Like who's to say you like you know what I realized recently, uh, and like pause like I'll skip our introductions right? No, yeah, pa- I know what the fuck skip our introductions. Okay, I'm sorry. Yuri, pause, Lord. Hi, let's go. <laughs> we right, gotta go. Ahead. Yuri, aka the harmonious man, the tent talk with the fuck. With you the know, fuck. The tent talk that finna rock. Oh, I was just... freestyling earlier. I think I got talking bad in my chat. I'm finna block. Um, the Discord, uh, deviant. Yuri Ibrahimovic, man. Ibrahimovic? Thank you. Nah. That's a, you you're a good introducer. <laughs> yeah, yeah we were Pot Lord Man Togue. At first, I didn't know what to save your name as on my phone. What? <laughs> you know, what, do you, what do you have to say? I have to say this both. Pot Lord. I have Togue Pot Lord. Bro, you know it's crazy? Sometimes like fans come up to me and they don't even know what to say. So they always be like, Togue Pot Lord. It's, like, it's funny as fuck. They don't know what, what to say. What do you prefer? To be honest, I prefer Togue. Because mm. Toke's been like my name. You ever checked in one? Like, bro, you call me Pot Lord too much. Nah. I'm kind of, nah. I'm, I'm very much Toke. Yeah, every, I think, yeah, like everybody pretty much just says Toke. Yeah. I fuck uh, with Toke. Yeah, everybody. Because that's been my name for a long ass time. I'm so, before, th- it, it's very Lord. hard. I, I respect you, bro. Salute. And, and okay. myself and Yuri, kind of. You. you as well, bro. Well, let me explain. That's because, well, off, off the drip, I respect you guys. But for the fact that it is hard, like, I respect anyone who maintains a nickname. Yeah. Cause it's the corniest thing. Yeah. If I just come in here one, day, yeah, man, just call me uh, Taco. <laughs> you know, like you guys are. Gonna, it's very hard to like. Yeah. You have to meet everybody. You have to move to a new city to get a new nickname. No, I'm very okay. thankful that because I went from like like when I was like 18, everyone called me Mikey. Everybody don't call me Miguel. And uh, one day I'm like, man, that's Blazzy. Or you could just come up with and a it's false. Stuck, huh? It is stuck. It's yeah. stuck. But like you know, people from like Paramount, shit, they'll still call me Mikey. But ninety-five uh, percent, even even like loved ones, they call me Blazzy and shit. You guys call you guys yeah. never say like Yo Miguel. No, nah, I might throw a Monte Blazzy. every now and then. Yeah, me too. But usually I just be like house phone. Yeah, I just say house. I might say a Yura. But I but you could like come up with a nickname and just come up with a false backstory. Like if I told you guys like Yo, my name is like uh, Riz Rizzo. Um, you know what I mean? Like, and then you guys are like, well, where's this coming from? I'm like, oh, it's just my whole, my whole life. People have been calling me Rizzo. I've never really talked to Ezo about his name. He told me one time it was, he just said like, esoteric. Esoteric. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I heard that. Ah, like, you could come up with a nickname if you want, but a lot of people, they like, they, the same thing they do with tattoos, Ezo. they do with nicknames. They just choose the corniest fucking most mystical weird one they could find. You know what I mean? Like, well, my nickname chose me because people used to call me Tokyo. All the time. Why? Because my eyes. Okay. I didn't, want, <laughs> I, I didn't want to be the one to you say it. You still get that today. Yeah, I know. I so don't everybody want to be used, to, everybody used to say that. And then, like. So your name's based off racism? Uh, sure. Whatever. Uh, but, uh, no. And then, as, you know, as I grew older and, like. Isn't that, like, some, like, the, oh. stripper thing to do? Like, name yourself after, like, an Asian city or. Like, I didn't name myself that. Oh. It was just, like, a. It was just, like, Cause a. Because at first, shit. when I heard Pollard, I'm like, damn, this fool probably, like, smokes, like, Wiz Khalifa. You know, I used to, and then I met you, and it's like you know, you you keep a spliff around, you know, but it's no, no, it's not no bangers like on the table and shit like that. Like, um, I think it'd be too much of a responsibility to call myself Pot Lord, bro. I'm not cool with Blasi. I've been trying to change my Instagram to the fucking. To just the toke one Isn't yours just Pot Lord? Wow. Just you pot- gotta be thankful for that bro Yeah just Pot Lord I got it on Twitter too as well just What's pot yours Lord? Yuri? Like Yuri 12? Like <laughs> Harmonious Yuri And it's just like all straight letters Like Yeah Man I look crazy bro um, People still call me Blazies Kazumi yeah. like insists on in calling me Blazies Why don't you just drop the, the S then? Uh, Cause I can't man The, uh, the Blazzy account on uh, Instagram man He tired of my shit He blocked me I used to try to hack him. Candy Lewis dropped a bag of twenty dollars. 
Seven, no, dude. We, okay. So, are you are you still doing the uh, the stream? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll turn it down a little bit. You're just dude, a you're, man. You're just like a streaming junkie. <laughs> well, uh, just, well. Honestly, uh, I'm on my two last days here. Today's the 28th day. But did you rate hit zero? No. Okay. No. So the timer hit uh, zero um, on day 20. So, oh, actually, no. So day uh, the days like hit by by noon once it hits noon it's the next day right because i started at noon so at like 4 20 in the morning the timer finally finished and uh i woke up like way later <clears throat> by the time i woke up i woke up i realized the timer was done and um and it's basically already day 27 and i was already kind of thinking this of like dude we already went 27 days on stream you know what i mean like for yeah. me to think like yo i want to do the full 30 i'd have to like take a break and then dedicate a whole nother month to this shit i was like yeah. bro like we're already so close to the 30 day mark i was like fuck it guys like timer's done but we're already three days away like let's just fucking continue and get to the end goal you know what i mean like and i was telling the chat like because some people were in the chat were saying like oh does that mean the timer was like useless the whole time because you're gonna go 30 days regardless no because if the timer had ended like at 20 days you know what i mean like or 21 days so you drew the line at around like 26 25 27 because it's yeah. so close you know what i mean yeah. like it was already at that point where i was like bro like how could i not not finish it at this but point, you know? like, like me. Hold on, I'm gonna let my boy rock. <laughs> Bro, no, okay, we're, we're gonna add it. We're gonna change it from twenty to like fifty dollars. If, it, if nah, it's if it's man. seven billion numbers. Hey, you in. gotta give some little like crumbs for uh, me and Pablo, yeah, bro. We struggling yeah, out here, bro. We, we struggling eat. out here. I don't eat. got no stream that like. I'm man. broke. I'm broke. All right, Mister Eighteen broke. Sponsors. <laughs> nah, he ain't, he ain't got no stizzy pen or I'm a fat as, tire, man. I'm we back to Coca Cola. <laughs> oh God, I'm broke as a joke. <laughs> Yo, th this guy. Is How playing. is this still going, dude? This, this is, is the longest number I've ever heard, <laughs> man. I didn't know they make long numbers as big. <laughs> me neither. Trust me, I didn't know either. So, but uh, you don't, you don't feel like it's it's like time to let go. Like you know what? Maybe these three <laughs> like days. Kill myself. I think it said it's Not time yet. to let go. This is like a blast. You hate me, fuck, dude. bro. I don't hate you. What the fuck? Don't you think it's time to let go? I'm saying as far as like like you don't need to do these next three days. I'm saying like let go of that. Oh, okay. No, you see, but that's the thing where I have this. Dude, like, you're you're the most successful. You. Bit, this is dope to see like what do you mean i'm not trying to play no no facts no i appreciate you but like it's 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 about finishing the end goal which is like i had two goals in mind which is don't end the stream until the timer is done right which was you know tough at certain moments but then also the other goal was try to potentially hit 30 days you know what i mean like and uh I'm, and like i was saying it's almost like not like a gift back to the audience but like almost like i'm, I'm so grateful that they got me to 27 days i feel like it'd be kind of like a little bit weird just to me for me to be like thanks for 27 days deuces you know what i mean like we're already three days away from day 30 like let's just hit day 30 and then we'll call it a day right there but have you found like time to uh like draw back like maybe you're not gonna be on like uh, you're not gonna sleep on there Bruh. no i know this is crazy because uh, that because if we want to talk about sleeping on stream that, that one girl's whooping your ass what girl i'm pretty sure people have been tagging you all day it's like this like uh only fans chick she does the whole like sleeping on uh on live stream Hey, if that fool, man, we got to return his money, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Bro. <laughs> We're going to have to return hey, your money. Hey, we got too much money right here, man. Bro. Turn this shit off, bro. No, you're pressing the wrong button. Hey, this okay. nigga is cool. Bro, yeah, you can't be hitting us with it, the purpose of the twenty dollar donation TTS is like if you want to add something to the conversation. It's not yeah. to fucking disrupt it completely. Yeah, that's but crazy. That bro. was like your whole like you probably heard that number a bunch of times. Yes, I have, but it's super annoying in the middle of a podcast. You know what I mean? Like you, okay. should, you should hear when they do the W's. So, so we're just gonna take TTS. I think that them. I think today is kinda like a um like a reflection on like the, the last twenty seven days. Oh yeah. All right, let, let's let, let's break it down. So what was your favorite moment? It's hard to say one favorite moment, you know what I mean? Cuz there's like a bunch of like it's, it was a whole month, you know what I mean? Like we did 30 yeah. days of activities, uh but only you know, 28 days of activity so far, but uh doing the meet and greet in the Bro, Bay Spartan Area, Street. that show was hella fucking sick. Um I got to meet like a bunch of people, just going to San Francisco in general and plus the meet and greet was like hella sick. The RV trip for sure, even though it was a yeah. shit show, that was a good memory. That show was funny as um, shit though. I'm telling you, there's gonna be stuff like I won't remember until, uh, or you know, I won't re-remember until later. But uh, the uh, go skate day was a fucking sick ass, uh, you know, you experience. Up. Yeah, that was super fucking sick. Um, what what else? Disney with Riley. 
Um, that was like a, f- a fun experience, even though we were like effing and experiencing like issues with the stream. Like <clears throat> the whole thing with the I whole. I don't know how. When I heard that you were going to Disneyland, bro, I'm like, come on, dog. Like, no, mama. It's like you, you about to you about to get detained. No, Disneyland. <laughs> o- honestly, like uh, they're I'll, pretty cool about it. I was more nervous about Universal Studios because you know Disney. Is, True. Disney has experience. If you go on YouTube, type in Disneyland live stream. There's like 20 of them right now, probably live right now. Like either with iPhones or sh- streaming equipment like I have. Like, there's tons of people who do... Small accounts, big accounts. Who do, yeah, exactly, yeah. like, amusement park streams. And uh, I already... sounds like fun. I already knew Disney was going to be chill, but Universal, I've tried to go in there with, like, a weed pen before, and they were like, nah. Like, they were trip Like, the tiniest little metal piece was, like, going off type shit. So I was like, the thi- Universal might be hard. The thing like, about live streaming, it's hard to define when it's, like, too much because, like, they usually be tripping on, like, okay, if it's, like, a camcorder, if this is, looks like a digital camera. Yeah. yeah. But, like... I think they're fine with your phone going like portrait mode, but the the mint sorry uh la- yeah portrait, but the mini go landscape yeah it's over. that's when it's like this shit looks like a budgeted thing like well you tripping. know what's funny is like I've noticed they've uh, because I've had to keep uh, calling places telling them like hey I have this backpack with all the streaming shit inside of it is it okay <clears throat> the one thing I've noticed is like almost everyone is okay with iPhones you know what I mean like iPhone is like the cheat code to everything they're all, they're just like oh phones are fine whatever even like if it's an event where it says like no filming you ask them like yo can I stream it they'll be like. Uh, yeah, if, like, you're taking some videos and photos on a phone, it's cool, but, like, not on a professional camera like a GoPro or something yeah. like, like that. Like, why? Even though this can even be just as good yeah, as a GoPro. Exactly. Literally, uh, iPhone spends about, like, 30 minutes out of their keynote whenever they promote the new iPhone just talking about this weak-ass like, camera. Like, they're always adding improvements. Exactly. And, like, there's people, uh, I think with the last one, they, they showed someone make a whole movie or, yeah. like, the one uh, prior to this yeah. uh, drop. So, the only well, what do you mean? Fucking, um... Uh, what's his name from Lyrical Lemonade? Film that whole uh, yeah, he's, that whole Yeet video. He's an example exactly. on, I, on iPhone. The only negative side of an uh, iPhone is uh, <coughs> at least for oh, vlogging baby. or videos is uh, the um, uh, audio sucks. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like unless you like you film in a certain way, like the audio is pretty trash. But if you could somehow get good audio or get a mic attachment or some shit and use an iPhone, like it'd be. They have them. Uh, they uh, like Rode has the uh, the iPhone mic attachments now. But as yeah. soon as people see those little fuzzy things, they're already like, "Oh, not professional equipment. You gotta yeah, get out of here." Yeah, but nigga, as soon as you, you gotta hide that until you get into the park, and then you put that bitch on. No cap. <laughs> and you got a bunch of you feel me. Well, what's the biggest lesson you've learned? Well, amongst, I'm sure you probably learned a couple of things you could do better at. But like, uh-huh. what's one thing you're like? Okay, I've I've learned if there's one thing I learned out of everything out of this, it was this. Uh I've learned probably like like trolling techniques. Not for me to use, but for me for me like to be defense. A, for me to be aware of. You know what I mean? Like cuz like when you're in the middle of it, it's like hard to notice what the hell's going on. But like now that like we're like a month into it and I'm seeing the same things re- repeat over and over again, I'm like I I see what they're doing. And I had this whole conversation yeah, yesterday on stream yeah. with the chat where I was like I was like, I just see this trend of like, no, it's not everyone, obviously. It's just like a certain group of people who are like just trying to push me and Riley apart or even like put a wedge between us or even like cause arguments constantly. And people say like, oh, don't blame the chat, blah, blah. But there's specific things and comments and shit being said to instigate certain stuff. And like you just see certain trends of like, that's just one example, but other things and like uh, it's, it's just one thing that I always thought I was pretty experienced with streaming. And yeah, like, that you had thick skin. Yeah, and, and I was ready for everything. But yeah. then after a month of it continuously, it like chips you apart. Well, slowly. they spend. I feel like they spent years with you trying to find like pause, like your G spot, or just things that like. <laughs> That's the crazy. That's thing. fucking crazy. That's not even a pause. That's crazy. Bro. All right. Well, like D spot, like your defense spot. I think that's. Just and that's I think it. they've. <laughs> I think they've like slowly like cracked at it, man, and like. Uh, you know, that's why I can't do no 27 day stream, bro. I'm finna jump out, you know, I'm finna, uh, on a live some shit. Yeah. Um, but Wait, I think that, uh, uh, I think what you've done is like congratulatory. I think that, uh, um, Thank you, you've, you, you, you said, it's like showing the back of your whole back or whatever. Can you, talk, can you text Chris and put the air on this fucking motherfucker? I know, right? It's bitch. pretty warm in here. But, uh, no, th- uh, thank you, Blasi. And also, like, yeah, that's one thing. Then also the other thing is with myself, not on like, you know, other people, but with the thing I learned within myself is uh, being able to like, I don't know, like I like I said before, like I always thought that I was such a logical person who's like n- doesn't react off emotion and only re- reacts off logic. Uh-huh. But you notice it's stuff like this that like you you, you it, are it, emotional. It can, it can get to you. You know, what you, mean? Could, like, you could you could act like this cold Russian. I'm a robot. I'm a robot. But but even like with you, for example, like you came over the other day, right? Yeah. And uh, I had to I had to leave for a second. 
to go do something and then by the time I came back when I was downstairs like taking my shoes off I can when I left you were putting on you were in a good mood you were like let's go what's up Chad how's it going I'm gonna put on some videos let's do this and when I came back you were like arguing with the chat like what do you what, what kind of videos do you guys want then chat just tell me what you guys want to see and I'll do it and I was like I was like I just saw the immediate, immediate effect of like how they can like even if they like yes. the video if they see that you're getting triggered by the fact that someone said it they're gonna double down I, and be like yeah. this stupid ass fucking video I feel video. like I'm one of the last people who should be uh, live streaming because I do read comments and like man I really be pretending like they're in front of me yeah and like I get worked up talk like talking to them like my mom just told me this you know yeah um but it, it's it's definitely I, I've lived vicariously watching you do that shit you know and uh I just want to know like who the hell are all, like where, where do these people work at that like donated because there's probably so I think in the in those 27 days there's there's a lot of people who donated I think myself I probably donated like 120. Thank you. I appreciate Same. you so much, man. Nah, I probably donated like, like <laughs> nah, man. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna get exposed. Oh, I'm gonna get exposed, but wow. I probably donated. I, like, I spent my whole biggest bros check on this man. I probably, oh. I probably donated about like three fifty. Wow. <laughs> oh, you're crazy. What? You're obsessed. You could call this what fool and just say your best. I'll be fucking with him, bro. <laughs> he would just Is never right know it's me. But um, keep it a hundred though. You would never know it's me. You be dropping donations and like be pretending it's not you. Nigga, I have a bro. I have a whole alt account that I just really f go in there and fuck with this nigga. With. <laughs> I just be, bro, it's fucking, it is fucking hilarious to me. And I be like, bro, I, sometimes I'll be nah. on there till like four in the morning. Fuck, actually, I wouldn't want. <laughs> I would be, I would be annoyed of my homies donating. Bro, you know, you know what's crazy? He, doesn't, he would, he would never figure out. I know, I know. It got to a point though, like. No matter, like fuck what whatever you 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 had going on, but like it got to a point where you, you were getting so annoyed of my. I was like, I'm not even gonna bug yeah. this fool anymore. Bro, you're, it, it, you're, got, you it got to it. it got to this thing where like that even it even like for example the other day uh, like Sharp had called me like in the middle of a stream right like some shows happening and I just didn't even want to talk to anyone uh, at all you know what I mean so I was just yeah. like I had already you called me like many times already in the middle of the situation Sharp and, called and, you and I was just like over then Sharp called me one time and I was just like dude like I came and picked this up bro like I don't like I'm tired of like people just pushing themselves <laughs> in, into like my you know like my even though it is on live well, stream I feel like bro like come on dude like, just cause it's on live stream doesn't mean you should call me right now it's like well you shouldn't answer right now I should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. Oh yeah, and that's why. I sh yeah, I didn't. And I, I only call you because you're gonna answer. And it's like, <laughs> if, I, if I had a chance to tell my homie something, it'd be right now. It'd be right now, man. You know, but like, that's right. The thing is, I think that like just as humans, like you know, I was I was hearing about this like whole like Vanderpump shit. Like it's like some shit girls be watching. Like, but just like girls just recently. yeah, girls just you know not girls. Excuse me, but like humans, I think just love drama. Yeah. And it's sad when it's at the uh, it's it's at the expense of my homies. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, dude, I can't. I, I think if I was just on live stream, I go for five minutes, I'll be so annoyed. Like just dealing with the chat and shit like that. So I can't imagine the whole month, man. So no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Like you're, you, you guys are just crazy about yeah. each other. But I do agree with Riley with one thing though. This was definitely a rat. Oh, oh my year. god! I don't, I don't even want to get into it. Oh can can we agree god. on that? <laughs> to, what, I don't want to as, as, as a drunk but driver. Wait, 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 that? wait, what? Stop playing. Wait, what does that mean though? What do you mean? He's I right? think that like you know. Okay, Blaze, if you're willing to call me out on it, it's like I have to be, be able to explain my case, right? Okay. Okay, wait. What? How is he? I'm on. I'm on. But I got one thing to dispel your whole. I got one thing to dispel the whole I'm case. On, I'm on I'm on stream, dude. So it's like everything that happens is on stream. You drive high. Yeah, that's a, there's a huge difference between no, driving. No, that's a DUI. Yeah, legally, but there's a huge difference. Legally, what? Illegally, Can I finish talking? Ever? There's a huge difference between smoking weed and driving and drinking and driving. You're not going to... It's very highly unlikely for you to kill someone while smoking and driving. It's way more likely for you to injure yourself or injure someone else drinking and driving. 100%. You right. can't argue around that. Okay, and like how 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 uh, like like what's the count? Like what's the uh, ratio between like how many people well, have y'all like killed want, driving? If you want drunk? specific statistics on this topic, well, I don't no, have it's it like on, a, on a personal like level, like how many people have you like murdered from driving drunk? 
No one. Okay. But here's the but thing. Like, is but, is like I'm on stream, dude. Is like if I'm on stream the whole time and everything's on stream and you just saw us and that day we were really drinking a lot because we were like going around Hollywood and doing all this stuff. We were really drinking a lot. I'm not gonna like just You could have you could have hopped in the back seat no, and be dude, like, Oh, no. I'm in an Uber. No. Yeah, no, I'm that, not. I'm not. No, no. If you didn't watch the whole thing, bro, I'm. T- it's like arguing with the person who's like hasn't even doesn't even know what he's talking about. It's I'm like you, the chat you, in real life. No, you're not. You're like a doofus <laughs> in real life. No, I'm <laughs> the chat. You're bro. you're getting frustrated, bro. Because Keep you it, honey. because your arguments don't make. I have to like every time you argue, every time you say something, I have to like explain how you're wrong in that situation, well, and then you cut me off and bring up something else. No, and I can never like. I finish. told you. Driving high is illegal, and you said, "Yeah, legally." But dude, that's what we're talking about. Like, you're still committing a crime. It's not about the crime. It's about the fucking a- aspect of severely being drunk driving. That's what's not okay. Y'all were severely drunk. Yeah. Th- did you not just hear me? I said a second ago we were spend the whole day drinking in Hollywood. Yeah. Man, me and Tug would have been like, Bro. man, give me them keys. All right, and that's <laughs> why you have a DUI, dude. I ain't tripping. <laughs> it's all good, you know. Like, no one got hurt, you know. Yes. I don't even yes. drink like that, so I ain't tripping. But you know, I know that it's possible every time I smoke. You know, if a cop pulls you over, they see you high or whatever. And I've been pulled over by cops with the weed, uh, car smelling like weed, with me actually having dabbing equipment out like on my lap and shit. And every time cops are like, "We don't care about that." Yeah, I never got in trouble for that. Keep it up. Guess what? Because cops have common sense. They know I'm that like, drunk yeah. driving is way fucking. A cop will see what, a pound bag. That's and not what I was gonna say. Like, uh, nigga, I have, I've got pulled over before. And I was like smoking on the freeway by higher patrol and my, like, I had to roll my windows down and all the smoke was coming out the car. This is when I was like 23, by the way. Uh-huh. But like all the all the windows, you know, I have to roll the windows down. All the smoke's come out the car. They just gave me a ticket and let me drive off, bro. A ticket for, <laughs> what? A ticket for what? Uh, for just on like an unsafe lane change. Oh, yeah. shit. They find something. They're yeah, like, they yeah. give you like the pettiest one. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. All right, bro, get your tents off. Right, exactly. <laughs> get your tents. Bro, I remember uh, when I first, first got my very first car, um, like I was always never, not, I was never smoking and driving. And one time I was with my homie and he's like, bro, come on, like let's just spark up the blunt. And I was like, all right, dude, it was my very first time driving and smoking at the same time. So I was like, all right, bro, let's do it. Like, let's smoke and drive. He sparks up the blunt. Like, I swear, like a quarter into the blunt, a cop fucking pulls up behind uh, us. And I was like, bro. I you see? Like, I was like, dude. And my homie's like, chill, chill. He's like, roll up the windows. And then uh, he just rolled up the windows and he like put the blunt down. And like the cop just followed us for like a block or two and just pulled off. And I was like, my heart like dropped. I was like, God here, damn it! Of here, course. Here's my advice: with like, I gotta stop fucking facing, not facing right, the camera. Oh yeah, right. It's uh, hard. I do the same thing. Here's here's my <laughs> advice with the whole like uh, smoking shit. If anyone's watching there, guys, don't smoke on the street. What you gotta do is smoke on the freeway, cause you have like a uh, you have a fifty yard advantage. You could see people from so far away from you, so people forward, and there's all there's just a way to maneuver around police officers on the freeway. Like I feel like there's still no like safe sketchy way to do it on the street honestly every it just it. ends up being sketchy i still do it if you if you uh, left turn you know oh i got yep here's my destination yeah. i feel like honestly if you're able to a hundred percent follow the laws of driving you're not really going to get pulled over unless like your your taillights broken or something's crazy or whatever it is like bro um, if you're following the laws 100 percent driving the speed limit putting that's sig- not true putting turn signal laws you're going to be fine not as a mexican Bro, I, I, they be tripping, bro. Listen, in Skid Row, bro, cops have pulled me over just as I looked at them. Yeah, I was in the car with Tommy and Frankie one time. I they they could attest to that. We all got tickets for some bullshit. For, I wasn't breaking no laws, up. but we fucking make eye contact. And yep. you really? feel me? Yep. That's just how yeah, it is. I, I, talk, how it is. Yep. I talked to this uh, Cuban dude a long time ago, and he told me he like was in a, the country illegally, didn't have a citizenship, and he said... Uh, he, like we're talking about driving and shit. He says he was driving for the, for the past twenty. He's like, I've been in the country for twenty five years. He's like, I've been driving for twenty five years with no license, registration, insurance, nothing. Same. And, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I just uh, follow all the rules. He's like, I never get pulled over. You know, I don't get pulled. Uh, nah. Yeah, yeah. I gotta be awake. Chill out. Chill out. Nah. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm a very cautious driver. You know, since the since since last May when I got that DUI shit, I got I got pulled over once. Right. This was in March, yeah. for speeding. Man, I was bumping that Rilo. I was on the seven ten, right and uh, they 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 pulled me over in East LA, and they uh they, bro, it, it got me hot. They were accusing me that I, I was drunk. Oh shit! And I I didn't I don't drink like that. You feel me? And I was like, bro, I haven't had a a, pe- a, a, a sip of alcohol. He's like, come on, bro, your breath smells. I was like, I call my mom. He's like, 
why do you gotta call your mom for you're a grown adult <laughs> like oh, bro i was just I with my mom. mom i was calling my mom i wasn't drinking I yeah know, that's I was, random i was just with her that's why you <laughs> feel me it was a sunday you know it was like 6 p.m just just going home from kicking it and uh you know they just they took my car i had an uber home and then i just got it out the pound the next day 150. they didn't even give you a test no oh no well i told them like honestly bro that offended me i need you to take like do a test what's up he was like nah nah like he, he realized i, I was uh, uh i was being real about it. i'm like bro like do i just look drunk or so something they, like so that? they took your car under the pretenses that you were drunk no, they took my car in the pretenses that like I can't be driving. This nigga oh. said, "Do I look drunk?" <laughs> Was but, you, were you wearing this wife beater like this? <laughs> hey, hey, if, if that's so, then I, I don't blame him. Well, this morning, like it, it kind of sucks. Like my car's always got some bullshit, but I had a flat tire, so I had an Uber over here. I just hopped in the Uber like this, man. Why not? It, it's been a nice day, bro. It's warm. It's good. It's finally summer. So yeah, it's nice, bro. It's about to hit. I was. I've been talking about this. It's about to hit the hundred degree days. I feel it. <sighs> Shit, tomorrow's gonna be hot. Especially where you gonna be at? Where really? Where you gonna be at? Yeah, um, we're not gonna say it on stream, but wait, where, where are we gonna well, be? Uh, at? Not, not tomorrow. The next day after that. Oh, is Saturday. It? Yeah, on Saturday. Oh well, good thing there's a pool. Yeah, it's gonna be hot as fuck, bro. Bro, I can't believe you're gonna miss it. That's fucked up. Dude, I gotta uh, have check a it out, y'all. Cook out with all the homies. This Saturday, man, we're gonna be doing a stash and grab for Becky. Last week, I was a little too uh, preoccupied, man. I wasn't able to get a, get around to doing some promo for the drop. You guys killed it. We sold down in six hours. I can't believe it. Like that should be messing my head up still to this day, man. I'm super thankful for everybody. But most importantly, I was telling my uh, you know my my homie boy who works for me chris like hey bro like you think we should do a stash and grab i think ironically it's a bigger reason to do one just because it's like now you can't have it yeah. you know prior to this you know we did them so in the pretense it's like um you know i wasn't able to grab it for the stash and grab but now i could buy it online but they're not online anymore guys they're all gone but we saved around like 100 for the homies and shit like that but we're gonna give out 15 to you guys so i'm really excited about that um saturday guys you guys want to uh i'm only doing southern california if you guys want me to comment uh if you guys want me to visit your city comment on my last post we're gonna start telling them tomorrow but uh yeah we're doing the stash and grab on saturday last time you did it it was like eight spots or? it was it, i think i think it's always been 15 what we do is 15 yeah we'll, we split it in half so like yeah. one car like it's so weird. I think it's going to happen again. Like last uh, stash and grab, the most popular city was San Bernardino. Uh -huh. Man, I pulled up there like God is my witness, bro. I saw on everything I love. As soon as I parked the car, I didn't even post the location. I just said, SB, we're on the way. As soon as we parked the car, bro, I'm just in, I'm just in the back of the, the Suburban. A fan looks at me through the fucking, uh, through the windows. And he's like, Blasi? I'm like, fuck. So I go out, I'm like, here you go, bro. I'm trying to get out the city anyways. Man. And uh, two more fans, bro. I'm like, geez, I ain't even posted yet. You know, so I love <laughs> San Bernardino, man. Like, it's That's a good-ass city. I, I think gotta, it gets a lot of slack for, like, you know, his violence or his gang culture. But, you know, there, there's some real nice people out of there. You feel me? It's just humble, hardworking people you all should, around. You should think of some, uh, like, challenges in case you pull up to a spot and there's already six people there. Dude. Like, hey, you guys got to do this and winner to get some. You'll like First this one. one 50 push -ups. This is so original. Pause. I, I don't know why I'm, I'm, like, hyping it up like that. Or why you're pausing it. Because it's just like, bro, that's, like, that's gay to, uh, to hype up your idea like that. Like, calm down. <laughs> okay. But, uh... I did a, a whoever can eat a bag of hot Cheetos the fastest. I remember that. Gets the Chapo Me Narco. And uh, yeah, some fool just did it. And you I should I wanna, do it again with the extra hot ones. Well, I want, I want, yeah, that would be dope. I want to do maybe like a, a man, we got to do like a planking if it's just two buff motherfuckers that like want this Becky. Oh. Like, y'all got a plank. Whoever could uh, uh, stand the longest. Or like, since they are kind of like styrofoam protected, I might just throw one. Wait, did you see what uh, uh, Aspizza did with his giveaway? Where nah. he because he, he has the box uh, the shoe boxes, right? Uh -huh. And then he pulled up to a spot where oh, he gave e I like every that. contestant yes. a shoe box, and they had to hold it like this while standing. And basically, like person who drops it, like you don't get the shoe box. The last person standing holding the shoe box still in front of their arms like this gets the shoe box. And then after be there for hours. after a while, no, bro, you get tired so fast holding your hands out like this. And uh, yeah. after a while. Uh, there's like two guys left, and they, they uh, he added like an additional shoe box, so the winner gets two pairs instead of one. And but it's like, just extra. It's double the weight. But it's double the weight too. Damn, I dude, I think if you had a streetwear brand, your shit would go viral because you could just in there, you could you could involve your uh, you know your your already existing brand with that. Oh yeah, like right. come do challenges IRL. Like this will be 
uh, you know, this stream exclusive tea. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm only gonna give it in person. You have to find me on the street. Oh Maybe yeah. You don't want that too much. But. Yeah, I'm like, bro, that sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah, you already have that. people pulling up with like, like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, they're crazy. <laughs> Yeah, you uh, got people pulling up with hundred dollar bills leaving. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, but crazy. But we're definitely gonna do some uh, uh, some challenges and stuff like that. Uh, you know, if, if you guys are free, you know, we should probably, you know, I'll see if there if whatever city you guys are in, if there's one. We're gonna nearby. be doing the fucking barbecue. Yeah, don't no, no, don't do it nearby, then they're gonna follow you. Oh, they definitely did that, man. That's yeah, don't cool. do that. I don't don't like do that. that. Don't do that. Man, and don't don't even try to come on some bullshit tomorrow either. Yeah, I mean Saturday. Stop it! <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I'm I'm uh, uh so what are you guys gonna do for the barbecue? You guys you guys are party animals. No, we it's just gonna be well, like having is. a no. Me. I like having a great time. It's I fun. saw you text me, bro, and I love Potlor because he's a homie that like I don't give a fuck if he's I'm gonna let him know that he's invited, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I just can't go to those parties, bro. It was it's, it's his party. <laughs> it's not even mine. Yeah. Whoa! It was your party. Yes. Why? What do you mean why? Oh, I thought you were talking about the shit that happened on the weekend. No, 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 not that. No, no, I was no, like, no. that's my boy's no, party. No, no, no. It, I'm talking about the the barbecue we're doing on Saturday. That's his shit. Oh no, that that's a party I'm yeah. into. But I'm saying like, oh the other shit. Yeah, yeah you yeah, invited yeah, me. Yeah, 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 that's kind of crazy. It's I was crazy. like, that's a little like ratchet. Another yeah, another, another, a, another sex pool party. Nah, yeah, it's what? Not a, yeah, you bro, you be getting freaky. He Bruh. invited Riley and I to a sex pool party. Bruh. Riley and I were getting ready to go. Thank God we didn't go, and then and then all of a sudden we get posted that like all oh, the girls are naked there and just fucking on the side of the pool and shit. I, it was not all right. So first of all, it was a. Porn. So what time are you on? Bro? <laughs> I, don't, I don't I don't know enough about you clearly. <laughs> I know he just found this pool party on Craigslist. He's like, you guys want to come? Bro, first of all, it look. You first, be swinging? No, bro, no, no, no. Let first, me find out, man. All, come was, on. First of all, it wasn't my party. Okay. Second, it was a porn star's birthday party. Right, I was just supposed to, I was just DJing. Was lighter? Uh, I was just DJing, so I was like, I didn't know, I didn't know it was a porn star's party until I got there, or no, or like right before the party, and I had told them like, yo, I don't think you might want to come there. And then when I got there, when I got there, especially when I got there, yeah, every girl was, was naked. You nigga, you two would have got deleted. <laughs> <laughs> would have been over with, bro. That shit would have been over with. Who would have been the first to feel uncomfortable? Wait, is the AC broken? <laughs> huh? Is the AC broken? Yes. Oh, okay, sorry. Yes. I was going to go turn it on. R.I.P. Let's blow um, each other. Also, I do want to call out and shout out <laughs> the dude. Uh, when we did Disconnected, I was on uh, on air tripping like, hey, bro, my AC ain't shit, man. I found somebody doing HVAC. Yeah, shout they out to the HVAC me. community. I remember you yeah. said that. Shout out to the HVAC And uh, he came and got me right with his pops. You feel me? I dropped maybe like four or five hundred. This is like October. And then it's it's fucking June, it's this July, whatever. And it's the same issues, bro. I'm sorry, but like, I if any if any of my age backers out there, you know, try to get to a bag, maybe want to exchange for some t-shirts. Oh. Uh, you know, we'll figure it out. Um, but I I need some help, bro. Like AC is very essential. Yeah. Um, would you use the same crew again? Nah, I don't even I don't know where I found those people. Like, I'd have to go and you know how it yeah. is. Like, um, but did you guys grow up with AC? Like, nah. I, I had an AC in my in my like room when I was like 18. But prior to that, bro, the hack like we used to have tile floors so you sleep on the tile on the tile mm, floor if it's, it's too cold. hot. Yeah. No, we would do the same. I didn't have tile floors, but it was just colder on the floor. My, but my my dad would do the weirdest shit. He'll knock out like in the backyard like on top of a table, bro. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I swear crazy. to God, bro. Nah, that's crazy. It would be the weirdest thing ever. Like I'm not I don't know I where think, you learned I that think from. Most of the people in LA, unless you like grew up in a valley, most people in LA didn't have AC. Everybody had heaters. A lot of the houses are older. That's yeah, why. they all had heaters but no AC. Yeah. Well, we had like one AC unit, but it was in the living room, and it was just like this small little tiny one that they just shoved into the wall. So it's just like should be it, dripping water. It never fucking got the room, you know, both rooms cold enough. Yeah. And like if you really like want to enjoy, you'd probably have to like. I remember my mom and my dad would like sometimes put their mattress on the floor in front of that AC and just like sleep in front of it. Oh, they're the ball hogging it. <laughs> yeah, basically. They, just, they they was better living like niggas. Yeah. I know. I'm in the fucking they're like, room. They're like in there. Yeah, you gotta sweat. Sweat, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, bro. And like, I feel like fans hit now, but back then, nah, fans were not hitting. They nah, smack yeah, right? Bro. It's just a bunch of fucking circulated hot Fans air. did not smack back in the day. For now real. it's like, I like, it's cool. I'm, I'm a little chilly now. <laughs> <laughs> no. but, but there was a time, bro, when fans did not smack. Like, 
Real ones, no, man. Like, real 90s yeah. kids. They're no, too weak, fact. bro. They had, like, they weak-ass would, motors they, in them. And they would just fucking just... They would just make more noise than air. <laughs> I know, like, for eh, real. Eh, 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 Sorry. Like, this is crazy. We should probably put this away. Okay, my bad. I got you. Nah, nah, you're well. good. You're good, man. Well, um, I think... Did I explain my fit? No, uh, nah, well, did I'm, you explain I'm, your explain, uh, no. did you explain your week though? Well, what have you been up to? Um, so I I had the uh, you know I I want to say one thing I want I want to get a little emotional for a second, man. Like April and May were my most depressive months of my life. Uh-huh. <laughs> like I uh, I th- I don't think I cried more in those two months than I did in my whole adult life. Come wow. on, I'm yeah. dead ass, and uh, it was super depressing. But you know snapped out of it got to it and um you know june was the best month i've had this year and uh you know it it, it uh it inspired me to just kind of work harder guys and if you guys ever go through anything just know that there's like a, a you know there's some light through that tunnel but this week we had the drop on friday that was great you know i was very happy i just chilled with the office um and then this week man this weekend i ain't gonna lie man i uh, um you know spent it mostly sleeping <laughs> Nice. Uh, I'm jealous. Sunday, you know, I just chilled with my uh, my mom. You know, I went to go pick up Canela from her mom's house, and then like pulled it to my mom's crib to her grandma's house, Canela's grandma. Mm. And then you know we just chilled what there, and then like this whole week, I, Tuesday didn't feel like Fourth of J- Oh, what I did for Fourth of July yeah, was yeah, I was um, about to say that. What did you do for Fourth of July? Uh, I went to Paramount, but mo- more specifically, I was just hanging around with people that I hadn't seen since I lived there. Yeah. Damn. Not since like two years ago. Oh, I saw you. It's like since I lived there, since I was like working regular jobs, mm-hmm. like six, seven years, five years ago. Damn. So it was a trip meeting those people, and I was able to like kind of catch them up. But it felt really good. Where'd to you have... see them? Like at a event um, or something? Well, I was at my boy Chris's house. Uh, he helps us with production. He, he lives in Paramount. Uh, we were posted up right there, and then he was like, "Man, uh, uh, Diego's at Julio's crib." I'm like, "What?" And so I hit him and man, let's pull up. So. I went over there, bro, and it was just a reunion, man. I didn't see Julio or Diego in a year them themselves, you know, and they're the ones wow. who taught me how to, like, make money on the internet. They were know? like, Blaz, you've gained so much weight. No, I'm joking. Nah, nah <laughs> I, I've lost weight, man. <laughs> no, I think that, like, nah, when I was, I've always been, like, 2-ish, 220-ish, 210-ish, like, my whole life. Up uh, Prior to high school, I was, like, 160. Bro, you know what's me? trippy is, uh, um, remember that stream I did where you let me come here and, like, do a, like, office reveal of this So place? fat. No, no, well, not I look so fat. I don't right think you look fat, but we we looked hella younger, dude. Like uh, everyone in the office. I think I look different. I, I look was, older. I was. No, I thought you looked younger. I was like, I was like looking at everyone. I was like, bro, why does everyone look seem like this is like? Why does this seem like a ten year old video instead of like a two year old video? You know. Damn. It's pretty interesting. Man, don't make me cry. Yeah, it's I gotta not, stop smoking. You think it's alcohol in the weed? Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's. It, I just you know. You guys probably relate to it as well, you know, and we're kind of like products of it, right? It's like, what? it's it's a little bit hard to make friends in 2023 because it's like, they only know you for like the shit you put out on camera. Yeah. It's I'm like, not looking for new you friends. question, I, yeah, I'm, I'm at the brim with a uh, new, fr- I have friends, I have too many, yeah. Um, but I, like, it, it's hard for me to like really get into friendships now because it's like, bruh, stop playing, you just like for my graphics, bro, which thank God, God yeah. bless you, like for my brand, but like, you don't know me. You feel me? Like, yeah. you're not, you, like, you might just be chuckling a little harder just to, like, get on my good side. Yeah. Well, honestly, like, so, I wouldn't say, like, I'm, like, against having new friends or something like that. But I feel like life, the way it works, is just, like, shit just happens naturally. You know what I mean? Like, you might end up fucking, you know, working on some new collab where you end up working with some dude. Then you guys just, like, bounce off each other super well. Then, you know what I mean? Like, because of coinc- life coincidences, you guys, like, link up each- again. or You know, like, yeah. just friends get made, like, random ways like that. You know what I mean? Oh, so definitely. Just, like, I wouldn't say, like, you're cut off completely from making new friends. But no. from, like, just linking up with just random people to kick it, I feel like it's over. Because I definitely used to do that, too. Yeah. Just, like, you know, make a homie who smokes weed. Then he's, just, you know, hitting me up saying, yo, I got fucking seven on. Well, it's genuine friendship. Like, right, They're sure. not looking for, like, an Instagram tag. They're not looking for a follow. Yeah. Like, that's true. motherfuckers that's true. do backflips for a follow. It's weird, you know? <laughs> Um, Niggas begging me to but, link, I'd be like, yeah, right. Yeah, but, it, you know, just hanging out with my homies that I know, like, like have known me, like, six, seven years. Like, no one in my life no, has known me for, like, five years, you know? Like, everyone from my past life, though, like, it was really good to uh, to catch up, bro. And, like, I also, I really wanted to leave around 10 p.m. I didn't leave till, like, 1 a.m. Hmm. I was off them driplets. I was putting them all onto it, you know? I think you say all on Cap, me. I know you for longer than five years. No. Nah. No. I'm trying to think. No. Yeah, I think so. No. So I'm at house. No, I'm at. Yeah, I'm at house phone like five years ago. 
and I met Yuri in 2019. I probably met you in 2019. 2019. Yeah, okay, 2019. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know what? But, but but in the sense of like, oh, this is fucking the homie that works here, and what year is it? we might smoke in the whip. It's 2023. <laughs> what year? We're half a we're half a year away from 2024. Yeah, yeah okay. then it'll be five years. It'll be five years. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> so you're half a year away from hitting Blazzy's uh, threshold. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so hitting Blazzy's day one. Uh, <laughs> <I know. laughs> nah, if you if you know me for five years, I don't care in what part of my life. Like, yeah, yeah you're day one, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Sometimes it's trippy, like thinking about how long you've known people. Like people like Freddie Mercury, for example. Like yeah. what? Uh, my homie Freddie Mercury. You you were gonna meet him one day when you came over on stream, but like you left a little bit too early and he came to a little bit late. But uh, um, awesome. I met him in fucking tenth grade, dude. When I was like. 16 17 you know what i mean like now i'm fucking 29 dude it's so trippy i'm like bro i've known this fool for fucking ever at this point but yeah. you you don't look 29 bro like <laughs> you and you're the only person i know that's had every haircut oh my god in the last two years <laughs> in every hair color <laughs> yeah except for you you, you don't you're, you're not doing like blonde i did do blonde. Did blonde nah but like platinum like i tried we tried my hair is too dark would you be able to dye my hair riley can not me what if I want you to do it? Bro, you I'd be down like, to try. I mean, but that's such as hell if I'm like... All I know, you know is that if I keep the, the fluids on there for too long... Pause, bro. Stop playing. It burns your hair off. No, nah, I didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, But yeah, guys, today on, on the way out of my crib, I was like, you feel me? I, 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 pe- you know, <laughs> people just always want to see me with a wife beater on. Maybe I'm just thinking that, but... <laughs> That's what I got on. You today, gave the man. people what they wanted. Yeah, th- this one's like slightly loose. It's definitely drunk vibes. I'm not drunk, but uh, Calvin Klein. Uh, I got like a Louis belt, uh, minimal pants, and then I got these uh, uh, these Louis shoes right here. Those shoes are hard. They're super hard, man. I just got these this weekend. That oh, that's why I did this week. I went shopping, man. Mm. Like, did you just say those are the beaters now, though? Nah. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, I've never bought in ever in my life. Ever. I'm not no shoe guy. I've never bought in shoes to be like, ooh, I need I need two pairs. One to keep nice, one to not. And this is the first time in my life I'm like, ah, I gotta. Like, because I'm already roughing these up. And it's like, fuck. Like, this is my first time wearing them. They look crazy already. Yeah. They look like they're like two months old. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> not really. But. Literally, first time I put them on my feet. I've been scared to walk around in my crib. But, uh, you know, that's the fit today, guys. I just kept it really easy. Fire. I felt that. I felt uh, the same thing. I got on uh, You've wore that so many times. I have it. Piece of shit. Yeah, well, I have a trouble. I came light, bro. I was fucking so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I forget. I, what did I do yesterday? I think I got just too drunk or some shit at the pool. But What's anyway, too drunk? Like, I was just too... You know when you be Six in the sun all day? When what? When you be in the sun all day, like, and then you just wake up the, the next day like, fuck, what the fuck did I do? Nah. Like, oh, okay. Well, I was just in the sun the whole day, just chilling in the pool, and like I got. Do you think that up. you got like a tan? Uh, that's <laughs> no, but you, but you know what I'm talking about, though, right? Where it's like, cause I'm brown, but I'm pale brown. Like I don't yeah. be out in the sun. Like, do you think that you you have like a tan? Uh, I wouldn't like an overlay say, type shit. I wouldn't say no. I don't think I have a tan. No. Well, yeah, but you know it's crazy. Uh, in the summer, I do get like a crazy like wetsuit tan like right here like what color oh, your, what know. color your like your butt cheeks like do you have a tan line okay this nigga is fucking cause that would tell strike you. two that would give like us, this nigga is gay strike two oh, bro. bro that would give us the real like you know skin tone not June yeah. no more but yeah I got the trouble in paradise piece of shit shirt um, it's that shirt is dope I like it thank you and then I got some fucking uh, general mission corduroys nar hunter sbs and troublesome trouble, hat man trouble in paradise hat too as well <laughs> I have the same hat. Shit's fire, yeah, but your shit's flipped it. upside down. Yeah, no, that's why I like it. Uh, wait, pause. Uh, okay. Wait, wait. Got the China, Chinatown Market Puma collab shoes, ass pizza jeans, um, FTP shirt. Shout to. Um, that's a cool shirt. That yeah, is right? a dope shirt. Shout yeah. to Deviant Vintage. He sent it to me. Shout out to him. Dope. Thank you so much. Bro. Sign or die. Yeah, Deviant Vintage on Instagram uh, resells uh, like vintage clothing and just clothing in general. Uh, BBE chain and then yeah. also uh, this Glabo hat and this uh, this is the dude I was telling you about where I went to Ignite shop and uh, you don't you guys don't even know each other but you guys are both my homies and I thought it was funny that you have a whole Blazy shelf there uh, in Ignite and then right under the Blazy shelf is the Glabo shelf I was like oh that's sick shout out to Glabo yeah. I mean I've been I've been seeing this shit on the Metro for years you know mm-hmm. and uh, shout out to Ignite as well man they yeah. put they you know they got they got all nothing personal stocked up right there guys that's La Brea and, Your chain uh, is icy, nigga. La Brea and Beverly mm-hmm. if you guys want to go visit that tonight 
They got. They even got the unreleased cones, man. They got everything over there. Yeah, they have literally everything, and also like every fucking, everything, every bong product, every like joint. Pay, like it's a fire smoke shop. I love smoke shops, bro. Like ever since I, they start putting my shit in there, like I I yeah. visit smoke shops just to kind of like consume and like just post up and just see like jo- you just post up at smoke shops now? well you just, <laughs> yeah that's great I, look, I just you know you just look at the products like they have a, a like i was like bro there's just so many things you can make money off of like i saw somebody have like a, a is iso bear it was just a it was just a um it was a honey bear plastic bottle and all it had was just iso iso pour where it's called isopropyl alcohol yeah that's wow. all it had. And just as it said ISO bear, people are selling it, selling it for $6. And I just realized it's like, you know, um, I think that uh, smoke shop products is like the way to go. Like me personally, I don't want to be in no like Neiman Marcus, no like designer store. Like I, I want to sell. I want to be like zigzag. I want to be like backwards. You don't want to. Oh, okay. Because I, like, I, I want to be in Neiman they, Marcus. Well, also like think about this. Like I've thought, I've thought about this before as well. Where like Neiman Marcus or a brand like that. They probably sell to a couple people, right? Like in in the whole city of LA every day, right? Yeah. Imagine you thought of a product like imagine coffee yes. that everyone in LA needs every day, and it's cheap, like a quarter or fifty cents. Imagine you can get half of the people in LA to spend fifty cents on your product every day. Bruh, it's over. That's the real dream. I, I say this every day, bro. Spin my cereal. Like I'm a fan of people who own restaurants, like. Bro, imagine you were Dave's Hot Chicken. You just made some dope ass chicken tenders, and you're done. <laughs> And it's not no way. bank bobs and oh let's make a mirror today it's like you just got one thing you and press play and that's it the rest is history but it's yeah. also like the last uh the, oh the last hey. true art form because it's yeah. the only art form that like you know there's no like copyrights if i'm not mistaken like if yeah. like i could look at days and be like okay cool i'm also gonna make nashville hot chicken you know yeah. what i mean or like a pop and ramen spot like it's not for me to copy their recipe Nine times out of ten, they have the recipe for you there, you know? Right, that's right. true. That's true. Um, so I don't know, man. But it, that's definitely like, man, if, if I can make a if I can make a product like Air Forces or like Hot Cheetos or like a Frisbee, bro, that's that's the dream. <laughs> to, to, to be Hot honest, I feel, I feel like you got like, I feel like you got the Astray game sold up right now. The Astray game is great, bro. And like, I'm doubling down, bro. The next item's going to be at Backpack Boys, the, uh, the, the shops, man. So. Yeah. Uh, but that's a little speaking a little bit too, too into the future. But uh, I'm I'm just having fun with it, bro. I'm just seeing everything as an open lane. Like I had this uh, I had this meeting with the, the the smoke shop owner, bro. He owns a lot in California, and he was he was spitting his cereal out, bro. He couldn't believe that I didn't want to be in like these designer stores and I want to be in smoke shops. I'm like, bro, you don't understand. It's an open lane. Like you go to smoke shop, I can't name you one ashtray brand. <laughs> what? No, I can name you. Fact. I can name you joint brands and blunt brands because they're very, they're heavily branded and they have a culture and heritage associated with them already. Like it is an open lane for anybody. Someone just gotta have a cool logo at this point, just to right. have a, a common ashtray. But there's not even that. You can't even like unless you're a real smoker, then you could have your you know your uh, uh, your callouts, but. I, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm not, you know, I, I did my thing with t-shirts. I'm going to still do it. We're, we're developing a lot of cold items right now. Bro, I know. Every time people come to my house and they see your ashes, they're like, bro, who the fuck made this? This is the coolest shit. Thank, thank you so much, bro. Because I have. Because you're somebody who really has that shit. You're not going to yeah. fucking hide it. You're not going to put it in the box. You're not going to sell it. No. You wrap my shit, man. So I'm super thankful for that. Yeah, nigga, I have, I have one in every room. I have the <laughs> I have got a, two, baby. Give me one. <laughs> yeah, I got both of the Ashleys in in my like upstairs, and then these uh, in my downstairs. Damn, man, that's beautiful. Yeah. But even with the, you know, they've they've suggested to me it's like what you really want because they're still, you know, I'm still selling them for a hundred dollars, which I think is a great deal for something like this. But yeah. mm-hmm. in the context of a smoke shop, I'm in and out. It's kind of hard to you know compete with twenty five dollar. Um, ashtrays but i want to yeah. i, I want to find ways to denominate and like sorry excuse me let me let me say that i want to get my products to the lowest common denominator as far yeah. as like quality it's not quality but just like communication 
and uh you know sell you think, that for thirty dollars do you $20. think it'll de- devalue it though because like in a shop like ignite that's cool right but if you go to any random smoke shop and you you're able to get your product in all smoke shops and then i walk into the smoke shop every day to grab like an arizona iced tea and i see the 25 dollar ashtrays being sold every day and i just see yours like the 100 dollar one gathering dust because like you're saying that's a good question because yeah. like you're saying people are going in and they're not no one's going into a smoke shop trying to drop a hundred bucks on yeah, an ashtray no. they're going there trying to grab the cheapest thing that they're looking for possible and get about it or yeah 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 i mean i've I've definitely considered that and that's why it's all about just like i'm i have no point to prove i'm not trying to sell anything for four hundred dollars like i want to get lower and lower and that's what we did with the the matches you know thank god we found a product like that it's cheap we're we're able to sell for 25 dollars. that would be sick to see in all the smoke shops and that's kind of like you walk in and see that for five bucks and i love like man i'm not even though i'm not gonna dick ride myself that's impossible but like (laughs) i I love the matches just because i lose lighters like a motherfucker so those matches you don't lose matches for some reason you just pick them up on the floor but like lighters yeah they, they get hit they get lost very fast you know what i saw actually this weekend is a um I was doing an IRL stream and I went to Hollywood and I was like scootering around and uh, you know uh, it was on Sunday and you know the Fairfax uh, market or whatever it's called. Oh uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I number one I thought it was free. I didn't know you had to pay to get in. So like you I got paid. To, wait, you talking about the farmers market? Yes. Like the one that has like Bob's Donuts and shit. Yes. And, like the uh, oh. the one in the parking lot and the farm yeah. uh, Fairfax School. High school. Oh, the Fairfax School. Oh yeah, yeah you'd have to pay to get in. Now. Okay. So I didn't know that. I thought it was free. But anyways, I tried to go there. You have to pay. I was like, okay, it's fine. But then they're like, you can't come in and film. So I was like, all right, whatever. I was walking around the school. I wasn't planning on doing it, but I was just walking around the school and I see one of the fences is like three feet high. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, bro. And I just fucking like put my leg over, just climbed over real quick, got in and I was walking around. I saw a bunch of cool shit and I saw some lady. She had a whole booth and it was all dedicated to taking ash uh, uh, matches and uh, she would like paint fucking intricate little paintings on the matches and she had like a bunch of them of all these different celebrities Wait, she was and like painting on the matches like the not small. not the not the matches but the match booklet the match, okay, so you okay. open up the match booklet and like she would like paint on the back of it you know what oh, i mean okay. like it'll be like a whole character and shit I'm like, Bear, what kind of steady hand would you have to have to paint on a match people paint oh. on rice true that yeah yeah people- but when i saw that i was like oh blazy like fucking this lady collab would be crazy <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, miniature markets is dope. I've learned that people just like miniature stuff. Like, shout out to Loose Leaf, which are also innovators in the game. I'm dig right. I don't care. That's my boy, man. What, the miniature blunts? Hamid, man. Shout out to my boy. But, uh, you know, they, they made Loose Leaf minis. Mm. And this is the best shit ever, bro. I'm about to roll one right now. Like, they're like, uh, uh, this is not an ad either. But, like, they, they want to, uh, excuse me, uh, they're just, like, so compact. They're easy. But, like, I like innovation like that, bro. Like, just, just creating something new for the market. It, it's like that 3% Virgil rule. Like, it just yeah. takes something that's just a small. Sometimes you just got to make them smaller. It's like, yeah. I prefer those. I saw you holding this, and I was just like, I was like, something seems off about that package. Like, it's <laughs> a little bit hell too, is small. too small. And it was like, yeah, it's because like, it's, cause yeah, it's a mini, but Look, this is the exact same one. It's like. I know, but you're right because even like uh, referencing like the bong. The minis world, are right? a W though. Um, yeah. That's always like a thing where a person. I told Blasey that in the bong world, you you get known for a design. Like I make the bong that looks like an Ashley, right? Uh-huh. I'm the Ash on me Ashley bong guy forever, uh-huh. basically. Like that's my go-to. I could I could you know do other shit, but that's gonna be my calling card. People are gonna know me as the guy who made this that became popular. And the go-to whenever you have like a bong that goes popular is like the next version it immediately is mini let me make it smaller and everyone fucking <laughs> dies for it immediately it's yeah. like let me get the smaller yo version. yuri i need to put you in a mini room because low key i don't mean to say it like that but like low key bro a mini ash on me ashley would go crazy i'm that buying that i would dumb. buy that <laughs> like the mini version hey i dropped the mini choppos i'm tripping that's dope that is true <laughs> you're right the mini choppos but, but i need to do the uh the mini ash no I'm keeping at, like we we ain't, ain't rocking with Ashley, bro. But honestly, I, I'm nah. You know what sure, I mean? I'm not sure. Yeah, if, funny as fuck, bro. I'm not yeah. sure if this is considered like you know, a- ashing <laughs> in innovation like for like functionality wise, but it is innovation artistically, right? And I I'm not sure if you guys have seen it uh, talking to the audience here, but Seth Rogen did a video with I forgot who it was. It was like might have been AD where they yeah. come in and like and talk about your wherever you live, right? Um, oh okay. Architect architecture, architecture digest. Architecture digest, yeah. So uh, they went into his like one of his places where uh, he was talking about his um, his brand, and I guess he sells ashtrays and like custom ma- like molded made like ashtrays and smoking products and grinders and all that stuff and he had a whole collection of vintage fucking ashtrays and dude some of these ashtrays were sick as fuck bro like 
um, one specific for that, like, you know, it will be, it will have a cool design. And then I see that all three of us are smoking. I can disassemble it to give you your own ashtray. Dude. You know, really cool innovation. There's like a bunch of different ideas, like yeah. standing ones I off wanna, the floor, clippable ones on tables and shit. I want to, wa- he, he was basically saying just to finish off, he was saying that like ever since cigarettes have become like, you know, unhealthy and people stop smoking cigarettes so much innovation in the smoking world has died. Like yes. no one makes cool ashtrays anymore. No one makes cool smoking products anymore other than like, you know, I guess in the bong world, but like as for ashtrays, no one really cares. Yeah, man, it's just the underground, you know, it's the underworld. And like, I, I want to make products like that. People just ash on the floor. It's funny because like ash is just a thing where you could realistically dump it into a cup. You could find a napkin. That's could, some red shit. You could put it anywhere. Ashing it on the floor? Yes. Well, I'm saying you're smoking outside or some shit, you know, like, but like ash is just a thing where you, you're paying to I don't know it's kind of like interesting flex, you know what I mean? Because you're paying to fucking throw the the yeah, trash in a nicer bin. Do you? Yeah, it is. yeah, it's better and, living. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure there is like a Chrome Hearts <laughs> ashtray or like some artisan ashtray that's like thousands of dollars. Yeah, you yeah, know 100%. what I mean. Um, what do I want to tell you right now, man? You're gay. <laughs> Strike three, bro. <laughs> oh. Um, what happens? Damn, I get banned too. Yeah. Okay, yo. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna help you remember, but. A lot of people have been telling me that they are dying for the Canela Beans collab puppies. No, bro. Listen, <laughs> Yuri, you need to stop. It, it's getting weird, dude. Like, <laughs> oh, Yuri wow. really wants my dog to... Uh, I don't even feel... I get, I'm getting, like, goosebumps. Like, right. negative goosebumps. Like you get impregnated by beans? Nah, bro. That's just not cool. Like, I would I would literally get my dog a, 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 an abortion. You can't even do that, can you? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. They have to pull out t- nine tiny little puppies out of there. Oh, that's sad, bro. Don't say it like that, bro. We'll probably give you guys the puppies and just like we'll just that's out about of pocket, it. bro. That's what would you guys do with like nine little, uh, like golden retriever, uh, wiener, gold, <laughs> uh, Rottweilers? Well, based on the chat, uh, earlier today or yesterday, they'd all be sold instantly, bro. That, <laughs> <sighs> no, but like I, I've like. I've taken like the most straightest badge of, of like code or whatever you call that, like to say that like nah, we're gonna get her with like a real ACG or what whatever the agency is, uh, for dogs. Um, uh, we're we're gonna get them like a real like wow. uh, man. Discriminatory. That's crazy. No, so we, he's trying to be like a dog breeder. I want to, bro. Listen, man, Blazy, uh, be lazy's golden retrievers. <laughs> be lazy's golden retrievers, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, they finna come out cold. Listen, Canela's super smart, bro. She knows how to go all the way down to the pool. Like she, she could go all the way down. She taught herself. Blazy just selling these goofy ass dogs that bro, just run into walls. <laughs> what do you? No, bro. My dog will build you a wall. Like stop playing. <laughs> my dog is super smart, bro. Uh, Golden Retrievers are the smartest dog ever. Also, they're the cutest dogs ever, man. Uh, she is adorable. I'm not going to lie. Actually, yo, I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry. And I'm, I apologize to Beans because I love pe- them. But where's the- my peanut butter snacks? Oh, I forgot to bring them. I'm sorry. Um, bro, you, but I have, You and I have, Beans been fucking them up. I, I have to. No, no, he got nah. sick. He, he, we gave him those that day and he got sick from it. We stopped giving it to them to him. But, oh. dude, the cutest dog award. I'm sorry to Chippy, Beans, Canela, everyone else. But it goes to um, Huey. From, Who's uh, Huey? This, uh, this dude Popo I met in San Francisco. He's part of the streams. Or he, like, he's in the chat. You think they had the dog in a bag? That, nigga, shut the fuck that's up, That's the nigga. most adorable dog man, ever, bro. get that, that shit, That's man. the cutest dog that ever, That shit was dude. fake, homie. Hell nah. That it nigga was like this it. big, and it was like 15 years old, and it was like a little Yoda. You don't want to keep people like that around you, bro. That nigga's what, with the adorable dog? This nigga had it, bro. Me, he, me and House was on the phone with him. They were like, bro, get out of there. <laughs> that dude's going to fucking Oh, because I got in the car with him. You did? Bro, yeah. you're not supposed to do that. Are you serious? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? And then look, look what happened. I'm fine. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank God the guy with the adorable little puppy didn't murder me. Yo, speaking about murder me, bro. Speaking about murder me, what did you do for the 4th of July, Yuri? Well, for the 4th of July, um, I basically spent the whole day at home. Um, and then, like, around 8 p.m., I left to go meet up with Toke, Ali, and uh, Ali's cousin. 
Um, I don't remember her name, but um, uh, Gary, shout out Gary, and also uh, Sandman. Um, we, oh, went Sandman. To, yeah, we went to meet, meet up with Sandman. We went to the beach to go light off some uh, legal, uh, chi- you know, Chinatown bought fireworks mm-hmm. that we got yeah. from a local LA store that they told us was completely fine. Yeah. And uh, we lit these off. It was a good time. Um, actually, wait, hold on, hold on. Before that even happened, <laughs> let me give give you the whole story, Blazzy. I, I know you're gonna want to cut me off here. Yeah, but... you buying illegal shit on camera again? And, okay, no, no okay. it's not that. It's another thing. Oh. But listen to this. So. Pollard wasn't there yet, right? So Riley and I, we didn't drive there. We took an Uber. We pull up. Yeah, right. That's why they took an Uber. We took an Uber. I'm sorry. We took an Uber. We pull up, and then um, we're, like, waiting for Pollard. We're like, okay, we see some stairs. We're like, let's go walk down to the beach because we saw some fireworks going off. So, like, let's go watch it. We walk down the stairs, and then, like, the stairs, like, at the very bottom goes to the left to, like, another, like, stair set. But we just stayed at that little top section, right, to, like, watch and shit. We're, like, watching talking and shit then all of a sudden a fucking fi- i thought that from the top of the stairs behind us like someone lit a firework and threw it down but uh, uh riley said like she's like i saw someone from that group light a firework and throw it over here towards us oh. basically a firework is lit and thrown to, like literally right next to us and like riley freaked out i was like what the fuck i thought it came from upstairs riley was like oh it came from that group but i was like what the hell is going on one of the dudes was like Oh, friendly fire, friendly fire. He never said, yo, my bad, dude. Are you guys okay or whatever? He was just like, yo, friendly fire, huh, huh, whatever, right? And I was just like, yo, I, I, was, I was... I don't think it was that bad. Bro, it was kind of weird. But the way, just the way he, like, addressed it, I was just like, bro, it was kind of, like, very just brush offish, like, assholey activity, right? Anyways, I was kind of confused at first, and then um, these, like, this other group of dudes were walking back up that were there originally, but after the thing was thrown, they, like, walked away. And when they came back up, I was like, yo, did you guys throw it? They're like, nah, that dude over there threw it. And I was like, yo... Did you throw that shit? He's like, yeah, man. Like, I already fucking apologized for it. What about it? Like, you want to do something? I was like... Oh, shit. He's tripping on you Yeah, he started tripping instantly. And, like, he's just like... He looks like this, like, 40-year-old, like, (laughs) RV dweller, crackhead. And he fucking, like, has this, like, whole giant group with him. Like, 20 people. And they're all just, like, walking and waltzing up. And they're just like, yeah, what the fuck is the problem? Blah, blah, whatever. He walks up. Um, to me and then he just like you know what's the issue and then uh, me and Riley uh, and him like in this like argument I'm just like bro you're fucking tripping I'm like you fucking threw a firework he's like but I apologize though I'm like bro no there's no apology it was you just said friendly fire like I don't know or like we're just supposed to expect like that's fine you know so yeah. anyways um, then bro this lady walks up she was like yeah. kind of like the star of the show where this like drunken lady walks up and she's like where were y'all at um, this one beach We already said it But yeah, I don't yeah, think we should yeah, say yeah, it again yeah. Right I don't know But we're at this one beach That yeah, Toke, uh, Toke goes to And this lady walks up And she's You made like, it worse And she's like You fucking little critter She's like You're a sociopath What's Whoa. wrong with you She's like This is fucking crazy What you're doing Blah blah She starts tripping on me And I'm like Dude You guys threw fireworks at us I'm like That's fucking crazy Blah blah And anyways This whole group of 20 people Like walks up the stairs And leaves And then uh, <laughs> Later on Riley and I are walking around Chilling Then uh, um, Toke uh, pulls up and I explained to Toke, I'm like, yo, Toke, this crazy whole situation just happened. I tell him what happened. And then as I'm talking to him, this one of the dudes who was a part of that group goes like, yo, like, Pot Lord, like, what the, like, uh, you know this dude? What's going on here? And of course, like, Toke knew the fucking people. Oh, uh, Toke's good everywhere, man. Stop playing. <laughs> Stop playing with that, Bro. man. Bro. Yeah, it was like a whole nah, situation. But it, it's a beach I've been surfing at since I was like 13 years old. So it was just like, I was like, I knew, I knew these dudes. And I they be like, tightening up when you pull up? They what? They tighten up when you pull up? I mean, mean? It, wait, whoa, that's something crazy. Yeah, they wait. like fix their back. Like, oh shit, toks, nah. toks in town. <laughs> nah, nah, it's all, it's all chill. It's all respect level. Like, you feel me? Because they come surf Venice sometimes, and it's all the same respect. So it's just like I've been knowing those dudes for a long time. They're surfing politics. Like, yeah, yeah, like hey, bro, like what you doing on this specific part of the beach? Nah, it's not like that. But it's just like it's just like a weird. This is my way, bro. It's just like a weird localism stigma. That, Localism, sticks, that, like that sticks with a fucking beach. I kind of know what you're talking about because, like, I spent all day, every day hanging out at a local park with my homies. It's the same shit. And it's just like we, that was our house, basically. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, and any, it was just weird. You know, it was basically our home. You know what I mean? Exactly. If somebody and came any, over there tripping. If any other skateboarders came through immediately, we'd be like, yo, who is this dude or whatever yeah. it is. So, yeah, you're right. I see how, like, the vibe there. Yeah, it's just the same thing, but it's just a beach. It, it seems different because it's a big ass beach. It's like a skate park, though. But it's a skate park because they surf there. Yeah. And, yeah. like, this is what they've been doing. Since yeah. they were fucking kids You so know the like, people whatever. That are there locally You exactly. feel me The older homies The younger homies Exactly Everybody Damn And they were just Tripping on you Yeah but then we yeah. diffu- I did, We diffused the situation Like you feel me It was a big misunderstanding It was all good I guess you we diffused me? it But like You know what's funny Is that lady Who I was just talking about When Toke pulled up And he was like Talking to the, one of these dudes <coughs> She ran up to Toke And she's like 
They, <laughs> She's like, this guy threw a firework at us, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no. I was like, you guys threw a firework at us. And then you guys started a trip. And bro, it was like a whole little we- weird shit show. And then anyways, we fucking started getting to lighting fireworks. It was actually a really cool, fun that was time. fun. And then fucking cops pull up to the fucking thing. Wee, wee. Yeah. Wait, can I say, wait, before you say that, I haven't popped fireworks since I was like fucking 16 years old prior to this. And that was the most fun I had in a long ass time, that bro. Fun. That was fun as shit. Fun like, is illegal. So anything that's yeah. illegal is probably fun usually. <laughs> <laughs> um, Man, that's dope. Dude, yeah, I, I've I, never I, shot a Roman candle. Have you ever held a Roman candle nah. and it shoots the thing? Uh, we had a big ass. Me box. personally, I don't think I, I, I think I spent more. I don't think I've spent more than twenty dollars my whole life on fireworks. I think it's like a rip off, bro. Like that's just that's it's a so, waste of money. Yeah, we expensive. spent four hundred dollars. What, <laughs> bro? That's not cool. Spend my cereal like <laughs> that is that's insane. Expensive. We spent four hundred bucks, bro. Bro, for we, what? And it was box. almost and it was almost stolen by the cop. Oh, yeah, and it was almost stolen by the cop. Dude. It was a good time. Bro, we was out there for like two hours popping fire, which was so Man, much. That's like two lines, bro. <laughs> okay. Nah, yo, well, what? Why is he shaking? He's like, I could have drunk that. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, like 400, a, bro. I like, a, gr- man, had, the rich homie. We had a great time, bro. Bro, at one point, there's this firework where you're supposed to put in a tube and it launches into the air and it explodes into this giant, like, you know, a fucking ball like, of like lights and shit. Uh-huh. They're supposed to, work. it's a big one. Toke is like, I'm not going to put in the tube. I'm just going to light it and throw it on the floor. And, and he that's fuck- went, that's <laughs> went everywhere. Bro, he fucking lit it and I like hid behind a wall. And he like threw it on the floor behind this like this prison looking bathroom. Yeah. And it fucking just like bro, that shit was pretty sick. That shit was kinda dope though. Yeah. And this shit just went boof, right? Hell like, no. Nah. Like it was sparks flying everywhere. That shit was insane. It was one of those? Where yeah. do you even buy those from? Nevada. Yeah, redacted. Redacted? I mean, just give me an example. Nevada. Of Nevada? Yeah. yeah. You don't. You have to drive that for like four hours. But um, also, any, anyway, some cops pull up. Toke is like at the top of the stairs at this point because Toke went upstairs to grab more fireworks. Yeah. And when he gets to the top, he's like, "Yo, cops, cops, hide everything." Me and Sandman start hiding everything. We like walk away. These three cops come downstairs, and bro, we only let off at that point like two or three. Yeah, we yeah. all the trash cans in the in the fucking surrounding area were like overflowing with firework boxes that people yeah. had already done and used. So these fools were coming down. And there was already all this fucking used up, uh, you know, fireworks shit. And uh, they were just, like, asking us questions. They're like, what's going on? Like, we we, we came here because of a report of fireworks. Like, did you guys see anything? And the uh, homie Sam and I was like, yeah, over there and over there. <laughs> just, like, uh. just, like, in the complete opposite directions and shit. Yeah. It was pretty funny. But, but were, the police were chipping on you or no? Nah. No, they just they, asked some questions. But then they were, like, talking to us. As soon as they were talking to us, somebody in the distance likes a firework. Yeah, for real. Boom. So they go, they beeline it over there, right? Talk to the dudes or whatever. I don't know what they said. And then next thing you know, they're coming back. We're like, because we were trying to get the fireworks from around. Because we didn't want them to. They were like checking around. We were like, oh, if they find that shit, they're going to take it. Oh, yeah. So then they another, another person to the left lights a firework. Boom. But they're like way to the left. They're like way to the left, but they're more in the dark. It's super dark now. So as soon as they went over there, we just grabbed the shit and ran up to the top <laughs> and just and just left. Bro. It was it was a, like a like a you know a nerve wracking night, but it was a fun night for sure. Yeah. I got to drive in the back of a pickup truck, like oh, laying yeah, in the I back did? on stream. Yeah, it was pretty sick. Damn, I forgot you guys did that. Yeah, me too. No, we be doing that. I woke up the next though, morning though. and I like I was just like, what? I think the next morning is when the stream had ended too. Damn. Yes. You're crazy, bro. I ain't do it, man. Bro, honestly, it's like it, it's um yeah, it's trippy, bro. Like I'm just like a. Uh, I don't know. It feels like it's become routine at this point. You know what I mean? Like where it's like, yes, I'm tired and exhausted. So you're not going to take a break after 30 days? <laughs> no, I am. You're the type, bro. I think that, yeah, think you're the type to go to Hawaii. Day. Like, like you're going to go to a, uh, where are you going to go? Uh, I'm not going to go anywhere. Like, I think one thing, uh, one, one thing. Bro, for you sure, got to go like at least for four days. I was to, saying, let's go to Hawaii. Go, you got to go to a day spa. Bro, one thing for sure is the people in the chat, some people in the chat are like, Yuri's made fifty thousand dollars. Oh my Yuri's, boy, up Yuri's some, made man. sixty. Yuri's made a hundred. Guys, you I, don't know what's in my stash, but I'm up I, some. I hundred percent doubt it's no fifty k or forty k. Hundred percent, I'm telling you, I doubt it. And number two is he said I doubt it. <laughs> it I doubt no, I it. No, I swear it. And it probably number, ain't. And number two with like the cost of uh, everything we've done, dude, from the RV to the deposits to the hotels to the gas to the all constant ubers yeah. i've I'm taken all the places they were like four four thousand I've, I've already like uh i've probably i don't know like i've already probably spent more than four thousand for sure 100 percent. and this fucking airbnb bro take some to make some 
Yeah, bro. Exactly. I'm not gonna lie. The Airbnb you got is nice. You outdid yourself. What what, what Airbnb did you get? It's on Saturday, and you don't for you the barbecue, get... bro. Y'all don't send me no photos though. This was, it's on, we just told like, you don't order food without photos. <laughs> wow, you actually so, do. So if I show you some bummy oh. little spot, you're gonna be like, I'm busy, bro. But if I show you some lavish ass fucking. Uh, Rick Ross hey, ass fucking mansion. Hey, you're gonna be like, nigga, I'm Yuri, there. You would better, Yuri better living, bro. That's when he when yeah. I seen the picture. I was like, all right, Yuri better living, bro. He brought the chain out. He got that shit clean yesterday. Like, hey, this Saturday finna be fun as fuck, bro. If I'm not like dead from the uh, station, because that that takes a lot of social energy out of me. Like people are at ten that. and they expect you to be at ten every stop so well the the fucking airbnb post is taken down i guess because we got it already or something like that no it'll be in the details that you go on like a like uh trips you go on the trips tab send it to me again um but yeah either way um but you got something like rick ross it's basically like uh, cartel shit it's not a it's not a thing to be like oh we're better living now like now we can afford this it's a thing to be like dude yeah toke Ali, fucking, you know, basically everyone that I've invited, like, has helped a ton with, like, the streams and shit like that, with, like, dealing with my TTSs, the TTSs being about them specifically, or just helping with, like, you know, just being, you know, just all types of shit, being a part of the streams and just helping, it's a way to, like, try to fucking give it back and, like, provide some sort of cool day of, like, I don't know, just chilling, barbecue, free food. Oh, bro, you guys drinks. deserve it. I, you know, I might deserve a little joint hit, but, like, most of, like, 100 bucks. No. But uh, uh, this <laughs> but I think you guys for sure like need it, man. Like, um, I think it's dope that you did the uh, B and B. But yeah, it is true. It's like you know you have you of course it's like it, it, you know you you got some bread. You know what I'm saying? But like people don't understand that like you know that that's really meant for like okay cool now that i got this like, i could probably invest in this and that, i can invest in that and that exactly and, and that's gonna take you know that's what i was talking about too is like i've had like uh you know shout out to everyone that's been like supportive of the stream but i've had people hit me up saying like yuri like good job on the stream like you know uh, like you know stuff like that and, and people really juiced on this idea but then i've also had people tell me like immediately like what's the next idea you know and uh you know this homeless stream and, and that whole the whole like hype of i feel like being juiced on the idea i feel like is is cool in the middle of the stream but once it ends it the immediate thought is like for example like a drop right like once the the beckys are done and over it's like you're immediately thinking you're not like fuck yeah still on pumped on becky mode you're like what, yeah. what's the next what's one the next thing? fuck dude like i hope the next one is just as good as becky right. like so that's the immediate thing i'm like gonna fall into is like oh what's the next shit gonna be and that's the thought process I have, which is like I've already had other ideas that I've been wanting to do, but they're gonna be expensive to, you know, make happen. But now I'd probably be able to facilitate like those ideas that's happening. That's the best thing, bro. I, I f- that's that stay down to come up shit. Um, you got you know what you gotta do next. I seen I seen somebody. I think on, you should do the homeless stream. No, I, I, that sounds crazy. Yeah, but I seen this, if you do it with me. I seen this dude. I'll do I'll do uh, uh, if we go half on the donations, I'll go. I'll, I'll go a night homeless with you. Okay, let's do it. You know, half and half. And you um, do the whole day with me. All right. All right. But let's do it. But we gotta be like in like Shake Moreno it. Valley or like in fucking. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, we gotta be in Moreno Valley or like Bakersfield. We could be in Pasadena. No. Okay. I wanna be like in a, uh, like somewhere like, um, like Merced. But look, look, they're just small. Super hot. They're just small, like uh, Call of Duty streamer. His name's Sh- like Sugar something or whatever. But he what, Sugar he, Tits. No, he's like a super small streamer. Mm. And um, basically, he 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 did a stream where he fucking got a houseboat right on the, on a lake, and it was just like him and his homies, and they like got their like all their setups, and they were like. All you know, playing a game and shit in there. They brought all these like different routers and whatever, whatever the fuck they had to bring. Yeah. But it was dope as fuck because they were just like every morning, like waking up, sliding down the fucking slide into the lake and shit. That's a, like, bro. You know, it was my first thought before the Airbnb was like I wanted to get a houseboat of some sort. Where I was like, it would be sick if we that, yeah, went on dope. went on the water and barbecued and shit like that, right? And I was like, how much do those things cost per day? Like five grand. I they up. don't cost per day. They cost per hour. <laughs> and some of them are like fucking two grand per hour if you want one that fits like 10 15 yeah. people they're like two three grand no, per I hour found, i found because I, I was like i want to get this shit right because I, I looked it up and i was like damn i gotta get this shit before the summer ends because this shit is dope as fuck right it's like for the weekend it's like five grand right yeah the whole it, three days weekend or two days two days two five days grand. yeah from like saturday morning <coughs> From like sat well no, so you can sleep on the boat Friday night, but you can't leave the dock until Saturday morning. Mm, okay, because you they, the, the boat doesn't have lights, so you can't leave. You can sleep on it Friday night, but you can't leave till Saturday morning, and then you got to return it before Sunday, before dusk or whatever, before the sun goes down mm. or whatever, right? 
I looked it up, so it was like five grand, like basically like fifty three hundred, right? But was it cool though, or is it like some rinky dink like? No, it's nice. It's nice. Oh. It's plush as fuck. It's nice. But then for the, five bands, yeah, it yeah, gotta but, be nice. But then the deposit though. Oh, that's like that, fifteen, the, ten, the, the deposit 7, is 000. another six bands. Yeah, I was like, bruh, eleven thousand, bruh, and you get six back. Yeah. Jeez. Hopefully, Maybe. hopefully, yeah. yeah. Don't stain the uh, because they be on people's asses about yeah. that about the wood. Like, well, don't you, put water on the wood or you, something. You, you sneezed in here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> y'all burp. It's over. <laughs> I, bro, yeah. I, I, yeah. I think that uh, I could see you one day with a boat, bro. Like, you, I'm definitely in a boat. I see you just like having a big ass boat like on, on your truck. I'm definitely gonna just like it's like it's like connected, you know. Like he's just he he just bobs like that all day. If I get a boat, it's definitely gonna be like when I moved back to Europe or some shit. You You move back to Europe? Yeah, I I plan to move. Like I plan to like sell some of my properties and just move back to Europe. What? Yeah, not 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 anytime soon, but like the charges. But like the long term plan type shit. Yeah, the long term plan is like especially like when my daughter like starting the charges, (laughs) especially when my daughter starts getting like. You know, older, I really want her to, like, be really learning French and get, you know, that side of her. Because she was born yeah. in Switzerland, so I want her to get that side of her culture and shit like that. And You I, want her to go to a school out here, though? Out here? Not really. Not really? Not Is really. she even, like, she, at, she, like, school age she's in, yet? She's in school now. She goes. She's in preschool now. Oh, okay. But, like, that's cool. Like, she's learning that now. She's going to know English. Yeah. So I want her to, like, know the other She's going to build, like, stuff. social skills and just, like, have fun shit for right now. Exactly. So, and plus, I But like, you want her to go to prom over there. Yeah, there is no prom over there. I didn't, that's not uh, a thing. Really? That's not a thing. Wow. I, There's no Halloween over there. That's not a what? thing. What? Well, why am I tripping? I don't care about Halloween. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying. But let's not. Those are, like, No American 4th of holiday. July. No. This first of August. No Thanksgiving. No. There's Christmas, though. Yeah, it's Christmas, yeah. But it's, like... They don't be having like that Santa Claus and shit. No, nah, hell no. That shit's a myth out there. Yeah, that's like that Coca Cola yeah, stuff. Yeah, that, that, that shit about. is over with. Like, it's Christmas. That means family, not Santa Claus. I feel you. I feel like the only place I, I yeah, I don't think I'll ever leave LA, but like, um, if I ever need to like evade like the uh, IRS or something like that, I'll probably move to like, <laughs> of course. I'll probably move to like Rosarito or like Mexico. Team. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, cause, just because there's a place in Switzerland that I like to snowboard at. Yeah. I love snowboarding now, like, and my daughter loves snowboarding. I saw she wants to do a snowboard. She yeah. can't wait to go back. And uh, there's a place in Switzerland that fucking you can snowboard, and you can also they have a fucking wave pool, like mm. right down the street, so I can fucking go surfing whenever I want. Damn. Yeah, you feel me? And still go snowboarding. What's weed like, like in Switzerland? Though is it legal? Uh, shit, bro. We got some, we got some people that be growing some gas. But is it legal though? Nah, it's decriminalized. It's not legal. Well, that's good. To know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we got some people that be growing some gas. So weed, I'm not worried about. They got like runs out there and shit. Nah, but they Swiss be having. Runs. They got like they got the Jungle Boys, Backpack Boys. Never. Yep. They got Backpack Boys. Yep. That's cold. Yeah. That's hard. I know they got like yeah. But damn. And there's niggas out there that are like that know how to grow that. You, shit already. And you already have like homies like. Oh you, yeah. You Marty know like a whole in. community out there. Locked in already. The Swiss dudes from the stream. No. From like the <laughs> bar and shit. Nah, nah, nah. Just no. Was nah. that your first time seeing them? Yeah, they were I, from I, like I uh, never knew the, like I Georgia, the country. Huh? I don't know those. No, I never seen like, those people before because like, that bar, I've been. Uh, I used to live there for two years, so I was going to that bar all the time. Mm. You know, so it was like I've I've never seen those dudes ever in my life, and people all they all know me. Uh. Everybody knows me. It's only two black dudes in that whole little <laughs> village. It's me and this other dude. Well, no, it used to be three, but he one of them moved away. But it's me and this other dude named Carlos. Straight up, it's only two. A black dude named Carlos. Yeah, but, he got pick one. But he's French though. <laughs> Bro, he gotta pick one. <laughs> I mean, you I French, know, you Carlos, or you yeah, black? I mean, he's black though. Nah, that's dope. Yeah, but um, you're you're probably like their only access to like fucking rap music. Yeah, yeah. And, like United States and all that shit. Bro. Yeah, they like, act. Bro, every time they have something, they be like, "Yo, can you please DJ?" I'm like, "Do I really want to hear rap?" They're like, "Yes." <laughs> what do they be listening to? Like yeah. Young Lean? Nah, they listen to like more like house music. Yeah. Uh, that, that's like a huge European thing. Just but then like, also like you, you, you be on that. You be big on the house. Nah, I like mm-hmm. reggae. Like I'm really I'm big on. I, I really. Big I never. On I, I never asked Togo what he listens to. To be honest, I don't really li- like. If I'm not listening to like Blue Bucks or rap or whatever. Yeah, you do listen. Uh, excuse me, I do listen to a lot of Blue Bucks. Yeah, yeah. but like if Your I'm not listening it. to rap or whatever, like I'm listening to reggae. What like, put me on to some shit, man? Yeah, Stop I'm, playing. I'm listening to reggae or like Ooh. some nigga like fucking. Uh, 
Because all I know, I all I know is uh, no. uh, four in the morning. No, I want I'm something like Gregory, that. Nah, like Gregory no. Isaac, fucking Steel Pulse, fucking Damian Marley. Have you uh, heard of Coffee? No. That girl Coffee with the K. She just nah. has that one song that went super viral like a year or two ago. You, you know, you know what was like a a weird ass time in everybody's life. Modest Yahoo. Who's that? Never heard of him. You, oh, I sound modest, like a weirdo. Excuse me. It's Yahoo. like this random. Someone in the chat. A lot of people are gonna know. I assume. Well, call him as Yahoo if you guys know who I'm talking about. But it's like this dude who had like this viral reggae song like back then. But I saw his ass of me. But like he performed there. I used to go to those free shows all the time on Sunset. Yeah. They sound like every Thursday or something like that. Like disconnected. I gotta look that up. But, but I like yeah, stick <laughs> figures. Stick figures a good one. Hey, let's not uh, forget like, Blasi like, promised to be homeless with me for 24 hours. That's crazy, bro. We'll, we'll, never, forget, we'll never forget that. Are y'all really going to go to Skid Row, though, and, like, pitch nah, a tent? No, like I said, I want to go to, like, a farm city. Nigga, that's homeless. camping. Yeah. Well, so is homelessness. Pause, you know, excuse me. <laughs> no, but... you got to be on the sidewalk, bro. No, and I'm not... Tr- Scam. Scam in the chat. Oh, uh, nah. No. We should go to SF. No, bro, I'm not gonna make it out of that. I can't take my chain. <laughs> Don't wear your chain to be homeless yeah, for 24 hours. Be on camera, man. Stop playing. <laughs> oh There's God. no way you're gonna wear. That's the not chain. homeless, th- uh, then, dude. No one's gonna yeah, buy I, it. All right, so look, <laughs> so get a how, hotel room for how a month. You do, how about you do this, right? Boom. You uh-huh. gotta you you go to the you go to the beach, and you just no. Sleep. I'm not. Venice looks like no, not Venice. That's like cold. You don't want to go there. You right there. Like, they got different homeless politics. You probably they got politics. Go. Well, you don't want to go there. I was gonna say homeless. so does Skid Row. You can't just pitch a tent there. Yeah, you can't banged gonna, anywhere. They're gonna like, as like a homeless man <laughs> in LA County. Well, no. Once you go into like the outskirts cities, you feel me? Like where we be at, like there's not really too many politics. It's like the police might punk you out of, out of that city and like force you to go to LA or something. Bro, you see, I gotta go to that beach. That the beach is gonna be the safest spot, bro. No, like, but not, not not Venice though. But what Malibu? They're gonna kick us out. Yeah, right. No, not Malibu. You go go south. Go Actually, south. No, being homeless in Redondo? Malibu would be funny. No, hey, at Redondo, uh, I I I used to uh, do morning jogs to yeah. right there in like Dockweiler, and you'll see like tents amongst yeah. like the rocks. Oh, Dockweiler would be a perfect spot. You could definitely do it there. Well, now it's going to be docks, and they're probably going to cut. They got, you poop. know how big the beach is there? I've That's def- true. No, you know what? Pause. I've definitely slept at Doc Weiler Beach. One oh, time. my God. Really? Like, I was asking Toke like, earlier. I was like, have you ever actually slept at a beach? Yeah, but like Hermosa, though. It seems so romantic on Doc movies Doc is like, definitely oh, a beach that no beach. one will care if you sleep at, bro. There's like, th- like I feel like that's like a... Uh, like, and it, you get shot at Doc yeah, Weiler Beach. And you're trying to camp there, But dude? it's so much It's so much beach. It's like... It's hella beach. It's hella beach. Like... Ain't no be like homeless niggas and walking it, up, and all those homeless niggas that's there, they sleep by the bathrooms. They ain't stupid. They don't sleep on the sand. Yeah, honestly, if they we if, if we went to Dockweiler, I would probably bring like a small little shovel with us, so I can like we can build a little barrier and a like sandbox. Hi, a sandbox and hide inside the sandbox and like make a little igloo out of sand or some shit. I yeah, don't know. You that sounds that disgusting, sounds stuck, bro. A nasty. seagull's gonna just crash that shit that seagull? Bro, I'm not scared fuck. of seagulls bro but you definitely should do it that, that'd be uh, yeah I'm only gonna be homeless at the beach or no bro that sounds crazy I'm out no you already shook my hand I, went I, like this. I can't name your favorite first kid anymore and now I can, we can't do this fucking uh, um, Canela is my first kid man I mean, Stop where, playing I mean where were you gonna like where were you really gonna do it besides the beach uh my house you can't well, <laughs> my office. Honestly, there's there's this dude. I could be homeless with an office. Come on, now. in front of the office? No, just in my office. Like, <laughs> oh no, that's I not homeless. home. <laughs> yeah, y'all niggas. Are Bro, I don't know how real it is or not, but this dude, a uh, YouTuber, Ryan Trahan, he he was homeless, quote unquote, in L.A. for like two three days, where he didn't was not getting a spot or anything. He literally took a hammock and pitched it up in, in front of someone's house and just slept in a hammock. I don't know what area he did it in. But we could do something similar. I've was it a, was it a vlog or was it actually, a, a vlog? Actually, cat. excuse me, I was fake homeless for a night in downtown. The metro stopped running, and we had to wait for my homie Lanze to get back from a party. He picked us up at five a.m., so we knocked out at that Subway restaurant across you from that IHOP in downtown. For how long, bro? We were just right there with water cups, just knocked out. We were Honestly, like eighteen, bro. I I've uh, I fell asleep at a bus stop before and woke up at seven in the morning. So like, I guess that's homeless as well. What the, what were you doing? Yeah, I was walking home from downtown LA with my two homies, and then uh, and then we we basically we walked so far we got to like Normandy and like uh, and like Sunset or something like that, and we we had to get to like La Brea and Sunset, and we were like, dude, 
That's how it we're, we're like, I know it's super close, but after walking from downtown, at that point we were beat. We're like, dude, let's just sit at this bus stop and wait for the bus, right? Sat at the bus stop, waited, waited, waited. Next thing you know, woke up, at, and it was like, the sun was already up, and it was 7 in the morning. I was like, Oh, uh, that's bitch. crusty, bro. Oh, I was... You always need a good shower after those days, bro. You just, and guess what? You know what? We fell asleep at the bus stop. We both woke up, and then we were like, fuck this bus. Let's walk this. And we just like so fucking waited for the bus for no reason and ended up walking it regardless. Damn. Yeah. You ever been homeless for a day? No. <laughs> no? Hell no. That's cap. No. I don't believe it. You're from homeless? Venice Beach, bro. You that got means I got to be homeless? You got too much pride, bro. Come on. Homeless for a day? Like, I, like just like I'm sleeping outside? Like, nah. Yeah. I mean, I fell asleep in my car, like, but in front of my house. Why? Oh, you're too drunk? Just smoking weed. Oh, huh? that that's a gang of times. Like, yeah, just, I can't go like, to my house. Like, my but, mom's there. But mm. fall asleep outside? No. Like, in a public place? No, I've never done that. What? I fell asleep in my laundry room before. Can you tell what? I fell asleep in my apartment building's laundry room before. And Why? I slept, I slept there all night. you were mad at your mom? No, because I was blackout drunk, and my friends didn't know what to do with me. That's fucked up, bro. Get some real friends, yeah. bro. Th- my, no, that's real. That's real. Like, oh, uh, let's just put. Me bro, here. I had like a like a uh, like four or five homies with me, and they told me that they were like I was like basically fucking fucked up on the floor, passed out, and they had like a little debate over what they should do with me. And one of my homies said that they should uh, bring me to my parents' front door, knock on the door, and run away. And they just opened the door, and here's my like unconscious fucking fucked up body. Or uh, they were like, let's just let them fucking sleep it out here in this laundry room, and then. Uh, that's what, actually no I slept it out in the laundry room And then one of my other homies Was like fuck it I'll carry him to my crib uh-huh. And then he fucking I don't know how he did it But he got me to his crib And I woke up In his fucking living room To his mom Like looking at me Going like Just like fucking shaking her head Hell no And I was like bro What the fuck That's the worst You never want to be on The, the homie's mom's The, the homie's <laughs> mom's bad so, Yeah bro I That's know. weird Like it's yeah. awkward Every time you gotta go to the house I used to tell my homie To lie uh, When he came to my house I used to tell him, like, bro, my mom asked, just say you got a job. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, shout out to the homie Eric. Oh, my God, just so you don't yes. look like a shitty homie. Bro, because, like, I knew my mom was just going to start judging him, and then it, get, it just gets slow. My mom was, like, really rude to my, like, homies growing up. I was, like, the younger homie of the group, so I was always, like, the almost, like, the golden child where I would go meet up with my homies and see their parents or some shit, and my homies' parents would be like, you know, our son's already dropped out. Like, are you still in school? And I'd be like, yeah. They'd be like, Yuri's still in school Like he's on track oh, To graduate You know that, what I mean Like bro. shit like that uh, yeah. Or like what Bro I remember like My homie And uh, his dad Got in a fist fight I was just hearing him In the bathroom Like <laughs> the next room over Like doom, doom, doom. Oh my god And then he comes out bro Just in Spanish Starts telling us like Like this is your fucking homie This is really your homie How, What people you know Disrespect their father like this Damn. <laughs> yeah, bro. He called that his son to you. Yeah. Wow. And, and yeah. uh, uh <laughs> this is the same dad. Like one time we we just hotboxed the fuck out of like their crib, <laughs> and we thought that like they went to like they went on a vacation or whatever, bro. And he came back a couple hours later. Just sort of, like, <laughs> was, we just walked out, bro, with just eyes down to the floor. What are, you, what are you doing if you're a parent and you have like a 16 year old son and you expect bro. them to not smoke and then you come back and you see him with Blasi stoned out on the couch, bro? That was the worst. <laughs> it was worse when it was like bars and shit. We were experimenting them. Uh, oh, it was Zans? Yeah, bro. I remember one day the we were just at the homie's crib. He was off a bar and I was sober. And his parents are looking at me like, "What the fuck is wrong with him?" I'm like. Bro, Diego, like you good, bro? Like, come on, like he's all like off one. Uh, were you smoking? Like, what's going on? I'm cool. Okay. And uh, the the next day, it, it's me and him fucking nodded off at his crib and shit like that. It was so yeah. embarrassing. This is when I was like 20, by the way, bro. Like, I I was uh, uh I just had bad run-ins, I guess. With so, like, but I end up apologizing. You had kind of have to like. Not even in front of like the the homie. You just got to to the side. Like, hey, I'm sorry about that. You yeah, know? no facts. But everyone had a homie that like you. They they did not give a fuck about their crib. Like they're gonna smoke in their room. Bro, yeah, I, I, I it did. was crazy. I had I a did. homie. They they'll just always argue every day. And he'll they, they'll just fucking be mad at you each know, other. You know what's crazy, man? Sneak into their crib my and mom, shit. Bro, my mom was like literally like used to be on me at first and then she would just became like just like you know what i'd rather you do it in here and you exactly you out there and get oh you had the cool crib yeah so i was like but no I that was bring, your, that was your mom or your homie's mom no my mom oh, okay. so i could but i could bring people over just be like over there just you know like just yeah. some kind of brothel or something you just come over here and smoke and shit nah it was just me yeah out there. Damn. but that's yeah. still bro, it was up though. bro in, in high school one of my homies enrique uh his mom and when i was in high school um 
this when I was like 16, 17. And when I turned 18, guys, uh, you could still you could still buy tobacco products at 18. Yeah. And still now you can get a medical card at 18. But um, and I think if you're younger, if you're like 16 or 15 or even 17, um, your mom or your dad could like co-sign a medical card for you. And basically my homie Enrique, when he was 16, his mom was on the same shit of like, Oh, I already know you guys go out and smoke. You might as well just smoke here so you guys have a safe spot type shit. And she would let all of us come. We would be in there yeah. like five, six deep in this tiny little room like smoking blunts and shit. Everybody and then, on the bed, ass on bro, fucking farting going, on his pillow. Going, going into his refrigerator just like trying to get snacks because we're all faded and shit. And bro, eventually, like when he was like 16, his mom co-signed a medical card for him. And he ended up getting a medical card and shit. Damn. And we were like, and I was going to my 16-year-old homie trying to get weed, bro. It was fucking funny. See, you know, my... Nah, my like the the neighbor like down the street, so we so I used to go over there get some trees. You're like nigga, sometimes for free because I knew his dad. And then he was just like, here, take some of this. Damn. It's all good. And, nigga, it was lit. That's it crazy. Was lit. It was lit, bro. I didn't get to experience like weed like that until I was in my twenties, bro. Yeah. Like I just got caught with that shit when I was like fifteen. My mom tweaked out. But you were experimenting with Zans. Though. With no like fifteen like Nas cocaine. Like weed and shit like that. At drinking. fifteen is crazy for me. For me, like, like ninth grade. Wait, you dropped? Did you drop out of school though? Or no? No, no, I graduated. Thank God. I went to like adult school during. I was high school, I was but. staying far away from cocaine my whole high school thing. It, it was just bro Paramount. That's like buy some out. You feel me? Everybody got coke. We, we were doing coke in class. Like during lunch, everybody had. I, coke. I've seen people do coke in class. And I've seen people do coke in school, but. I've always just thought that shit was look look, look like. Yeah, I never. I've I never just, even still to this day. High, I, my high school. I've no. never been no like like ecstasy or like upper kind of dude. But like back then we fuck with it. But all to say that I never. Uh, as soon as that happened to me, I, I when when I was fifteen when I got caught. From fifteen to eighteen, I was like straight edge. I just yeah. I didn't smoke weed. I was still doing Nas and like coke and shit like that. Damn. But yeah, but no weed. Ecstasy, you know? I feel like, is like such a like tricky drug. Like, if there's any drug, I would warn young people about. It's for sure ecstasy because I because yeah, I had yeah, experience with it. Where I feel like at that age, I was like probably like hella depressed and shit. Like just going through all this like random life shit that was happening to me. And then I take ecstasy and I realize like you're just incredibly happy for like eight hours. And then the next day you become super sad again. And then you take another one, then you're super happy for another eight hours. I'm and then like, yeah. it was just this recurring fucking Back in like, the day, niggas thing. was doing like triple C's. You remember yeah. that? Nah. Uh, House one told, told, uh, told yeah, me about so that. that. Yeah, everybody used to do like, like triple Zans C's. Like Zans and all like those uh, downers, like, and like, like even opiates and shit like that, that all hit like my side of town very late. Like I didn't really get experience that in high school. Like they had, you know, we were, we were sipping in like 2013, like in class. Sipping lean? Yeah. No way. Bro, Out of Tupperware. That's crazy. Yeah. But like, it wasn't anything consistent, but, um, but weed bro, like it, it wasn't, I, I just went straight to Medcar. I always knew somebody like, you know, I ain't gonna say his name, but like, you know, we still pull up to his crib, get weed, get whatever you want. But it, it started becoming a thing where I was like, man, I like the shops though. And that's when like you gotta pull up with the um the, the the laminated paper, the medical card. Yeah, and you just gotta go through the whole process. Bro, I had a homie who went to a different school, but he was already sipping lean. When when I when I was out of school, he was like still had like two years left, mm -hmm. and uh, he would, like gone to sip and lean like you know hella early. And he would tell me that like he would just be sipping lean in class. He's like, no one knows about it. He's like, teachers don't look at your thing. Like at that time, he was like, no one looks at your cup going like whoa what is that he's like i just carried around me all and the time everybody had it in their uh, uh in, in their what you call it the fucking the fucking what the oh, medical what? cabinet in, oh. their, in your bathroom yeah, you know what i mean yeah. like there was just always drink and shit like that but dude i feel bad but one of my homies uh, who lived nearby where i grew up his he would stay with his he his parents lived somewhere else in the valley like far away but he would come stay with his grandma on the weekends and we would skate together and he and once he got into lean and like we got into lean at the same time, he would be like, "Bro, I opened up my my grandma's medical cabinet and I saw like like a whole pint type shit." And he would like slowly start taking little by little, and we would be pouring up using his grandma's lean. Dude. Nah, but back then, bro, yeah. people didn't know what to do with lean, man. We, we people were putting that shit on blunts. Like, Remember that? Get, oh, get real, bro. Real. Get that real. Was stupid. That was, that was Juicy J's that influence. Was stupid. As Juicy J, like, uh, he had a whole spoiled song about so it. much drink. To America, bro. Like yeah. that's no not facts. cool. Like that's not cool. And then the blunt doesn't even spark, bro. Like, I know. You just and then put... when it does spark, it's like sizzling and shit. <laughs> yeah, bro. You got Remember, did you guys ever put a hun weed. honey on your blunts? 
No, that was the stupidest Maybe on some thing. like broke, like bored shit. Yeah. That, that was the like stupidest a, thing. They're like, it's going to burn slower. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, it burn slower. I'm like, bro, no. And I, I used to hate honey. So I was like, <laughs> that's what they said about the lean. They were like, man, burn slow. And, and you get faded off it. Yeah, but even weed, all that shit, man, that shit all had a different scent to it back then, bro. Like when Obama Kush came out, bro, I was like, damn, this shit fire. Bro, it, it's so funny. We're just going on this whole like, uh, um, weed you rant. know, old, not weed rant, but just like fucking um, weed sen- sen- sentimental stories bro, and shit. I get weed is the stories. reason why, like, I've like tried to like, like, all right, so like, weed is reason. Weed why. changed my life. It did. Bro. I'm corny. Like, I don't care. Let me tell you, weed. I literally like went out of my way to get. So we knew. I knew this dude that was making fake IDs back in the day, mm-hmm. and I was like still like 16 at the time. We're going on 17, bro. I got a job. Stop going to school. Start saving a bunch of money, and then tried to move. Later, on my, Chris. Later, bro. Then tried to move on my parents' house when I was like seventeen. In nineteen eighty three. Okay, this guy. <laughs> this guy. Stop playing with that. This man. guy. But nah, bro. Like I was literally, cause just cause I wanted to smoke in my own house, and like have my own shit. Like all the homies can come well, over. Well, that's that's the fucking that's motivation for a lot of so young. So you had your own too. spot. I didn't, I didn't get it until I was like 17 and a half right before I graduated. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. I didn't even I had, hear what I you had said a, the I first had like time. a fucking like a, a older homie that fucking like co-signed for me. I'm bro, so crazy how, where yeah. do you get like $800, $1,000 at 17? Bro, I didn't like, make $1,000 a month until I was like 21 or something. So, so I, it, was, it was a spot on the boardwalk, right? Uh. Like this like little clothing store, right? And they needed somebody to just be, I was there all day, every day. You feel me working that shit? Oh, money, money hit everybody, different why, back everybody's then, at, bro. Everybody's at school. Twenty bucks feels crazy back know, then. It's like real. this is powerful. I, I know. Stopped, exactly. I was like, fuck school, bro. I'm about to work. I you wish I had that opportunity. That was always like that's everybody's dream. Like, oh, I'm a uh, perfect. I'll, I'll be a bus boy here, and then I'm just gonna yeah. get my own apartment. Mom, fuck you. You know what I mean, bro? Like, if you were 16, you got around 300 bucks. You felt like I'm God, dude. Like, 300 like, bucks is like. No, it bro, a hundred bucks was like ten bands back then. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, but that fuck, shit, that bro. shit taught me a, a lot, bro, and it, it it helped me grow up early and like really see shit for what it was early on. No facts. And it, it helped Moving me a lot, bro. And I stuff. was like, I wouldn't, I would, and I be mean, shit. I struggled a lot too, but like, yeah, it, it came with it. But it was just like, nigga. At least you got a head start exactly. on it, bro. I didn't get around to uh, living on my own till I was twenty three. But that's still, that's still for good. me. It was twenty five. Yeah. But on, but like I wasn't like it's you know, not easy. I wasn't like it's living not easy, easy at all, guys. Listen, I, I have easy. homies that are you know, thirty who, who stay with their mom just because, yeah. bro, it is hard. It's yeah. cutthroat. But not only that, I was doing other shit too. I'm not gonna say what. But you yeah. know what I've noticed? Yeah. The, like the more of like you know, like just recently, I guess I've been thinking about it more. Is uh, I feel like in American culture, it's pushed and almost expected for you to move out, move away, go to a different state, search for bigger and better, right? And almost every other culture, yeah. Russian, Hispanic, almost every other culture, it's more common. For people to live amongst one another, three and generational then, households, and it's just like everyone stays together, and it's like in every culture, it's like Riley and I talk about all the time, like the similarities between our cultures. Yeah. Where yeah, Hispanic culture is grandma, mom, and yourself live there, bro. You know? And I have like a lo- I know a lot of tons of Russian people where like the the sons are like forty five, you know, what I mean like with the you know you know with the girl type shit, like still you know stay in an apartment type shit, you yeah. know what I mean or whatever, and just normal in their culture, they're not like looking at you weird, like oh why are you still living with your parents? They're kind of like. I love my mom. Got to take care of her. She's old now. You Keep it a hundred, though, guys. Would you guys like if uh, Yuri's mom lived with you guys? You know. Um, well, who, okay. What would you rather have? Honestly, Yuri's mom or Riley's mom? <laughs> oh, that's a fucked up question. Uh, but <laughs> but we both know that if like anything were ha- to happen, you know, anyone could stay with us in our family. It's yeah. like that, bro, no, that's real. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. push because of Come on. But like, but um, if you had a choice, <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> yeah. What would you would you rather have your mom stay with you or your girl's mom stay with you? My it's mom. Ob- Keeping it a hundred. Obviously, you ask her, she say her mom. Yeah, obviously. Okay, yeah. then I'll you say know? my mom. But I don't want to be rude. Like, oh, I'm, my mom's like easier to deal with type shit. It's like, no, it just I love my mom more Aww. probably because she's my Whoa, mom. Whoa, right? hey, come on, let's wow. not get mean now. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, say no love that. competition. Jesus. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I didn't see me. Oh, she be buying you say shoes. I love my mom more, but like. It's right, just that obviously job. you're gonna choose your. Bro. Hey, who, who bought you more vans? Oh. Uh, uh, wait, you're like, wait a second. Actually, who, who got me more pride shirts? <laughs> oh, wait a second, what? Yeah, pause, bro. Uh, Why are they getting you pride shirts? You, 
you asked a good question. If <laughs> I got, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean, no, if I got that, I'd be like, spin my It cereal. wasn't exactly a pride shirt. It was a shirt that said like, um, like. Love like, wins. Like, no, like amazing, but in like rainbow. It was like something like, you know, like just lettering saying like, cool. Oh yeah, they try to play you. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I'd but, be like, what the? But fuck? her mom is like, she explains to me, she's like, not like tapped into the fashion. Oh world yeah, no, nah, she means she, well, bro. She's not thinking like, oh, pr- this means like she's. Yeah. That's nah, okay. It, I'm hoping that's the reason. She's harmless. Or, imagine it's like a slight disc. Or like, she's just like like she's got like super like good humor. <laughs> and it's like super deep. Oh my god! Pause. pause. Um, come on, bro. All right, for the last like twenty that. minutes, let's bring the chat up. Last no, what do you mean? Last twenty minutes, bring the child. No, no, we no. have more important stuff to talk about here. Wait, wait, yeah, wait. I want to say one thing, man. Uh, finesse two times did not snitch, man. Stop playing with that, man. Oh yes, mm. I was gonna ask. Uh, what to, uh, what are the allegations? Yeah, what is that about? I don't know, bro. I just saw like ten ninety Jake. You rocking with him? I'm rocking with you. Oh, ten ninety Jake called him out. Yeah. yeah, and like you know, he he's also somebody that like isn't gonna like. I think his words kind of like been pretty solid i think since like he started his channel right like this has he has he ever been wrong on something chat i'm not sure if he's been wrong but like maybe inaccurate no i'm i don't think so i'm not tapping because it's all just like legal paperwork i don't think he's bringing up like reddits and shit like that you know i think that uh um but anyways yeah he uh uh, i I don't i didn't look into that shit i don't really care you know like me personally like the whole gunna situation, I wasn't even like a gunna fan to begin with. Like drip season yeah. two is really good. You yeah. know, I, I I like the song uh, "Phase." I've been going through some things. <laughs> I've been going through a phase. <laughs> going through some things. Is that gunna? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's on funny. drip season one, but uh, no. All to say that, like I, you know, I, I, I'm, I, it's never been a deal breaker for me. Uh, I've never been a six nine fan to be like, oh, like now nah, I got play him, but like. And finesse two times. I'm, I'm kind of like a, a a fickle fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, no, right, don't say yeah. Yes, don't, all you no, yeah, don't, don't say do that I'm a now. Fan. Don't oh, don't you do I'm not start backpedaling now. Now that he's the snitch allegation, yeah, do I was not. like, no. I listened to a couple of songs. No. Don't snitch your cereal. Let's can we make a clip of I'm, like a, a montage of how many times you're like finesse two times, my okay, boy. And how many times? And right how many now. times have I said, oh Kodak, the great. That's all I'm listening to right now. Rilo, that's all. Wait, wait till the wait till the Kodak allegations come out, and then Bias is gonna be like. Oh, phase. Kodak who? What? I spit my cereal. I'm going through a phase. Oh my god! You know? Okay. All yeah. of a sudden. Hey, also, uh, I, bro, I've been like that. I, uh, if uh, if real switch your upper. No, if if real Blasi supporters know me, bro, they just know like, man, I feel, you know he he be listening to different music every six months, you know, and that's just. No, you was you in here banging finesse two times, hardest yeah. rapper. You gotta hurt this shit, my boy finesse. You over here singing the songs, no, rapping. You know them. all of his lyrics. Then yeah. I do that with Kodak when everyone knows about him. And like, like I said, wait till the Kodak. I do that with Ralph. Wait till the do that with Grind Hardy. I spit my stop shirt. playing. So you switch Rilo out. Rodrigue. Yeah, I do. Every artist, every rap artist out there that hears the words from Blazzy saying you're my favorite artist. Don't take it to heart. He's capping 100%. Okay, He's going to switch agree. up on you in a week. So they could, they, 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 bro, so many people tell me, like, oh, you're my favorite person. I believe it too, but like, that that could change any day, you know? Like, okay. Bro, like, I used to be the biggest. Fro- I met Frosty the Snowman yesterday, actually. Shout out to uh, oh, my yeah. boy. You took that pick with him. And, uh, you know, it, it no, I did in 2019. I've I met him before, I guess, like on some quick shit, but. Um, <laughs> we, we were just chatting, and I was like, hey, bro, all, th- all jokes aside, by the way, bro. Thank you so much for Million Dollar Mission and all these great hits because that shit inspires a lot of what I did and what i done. Um, but at one point, he was all I listened to. I you know what I mean? It's like, I just go through, you know, I'll be going through phases and shit. Hey, know? I, I know this is a little bit off topic here, but, you know, since we're, you know, getting towards the end of the podcast here, I also want to say this because this is the last podcast or last reconnected that's gonna be a part of this fucking month long stream here. Uh-huh. And uh, I wanted to give a huge shout out and thank you to number one uh you know my co-host uh paul lord house phone blazzy for dealing with the tts's every time and also in the mid podcast tts's and also i want to uh you know thank the the chat because i know that you know some people in the reconnected audience watch me but not not everyone and i'm sure there's people in the reconnect audience that can't stand me and even you guys have had to kind of deal with the tts's and all the other stuff so i want to give a huge shout out to you guys and thank you guys for dealing with it this is gonna be the last episode like i said a part of this whole thing and then also since uh, we're saying this. I want to give a huge shout out to Riley for because we're almost oh. done with this for dealing with this whole month <clears throat> month of craziness, 
fucked up TTSs. Uh, like, Riley Tat. Riley oh Tat. Oh, my God. Right. Where's the R, man? Stop uh, playing. But, yeah, I want to give a huge shout out to Riley. Would you get it? I love you, babe, for, it, oh. for dealing with everything and helping with everything. That's the first. This, this has been a, a crazy long journey. And we're still not even done with it. We're still on day 28 here. We still have two more days. But, um we're basically, you know, reaching reaching the end here. Day yeah, I, I think I think for sure Riley's. I don't know how you've done it, dude. Like you, you know me. I could only be out here there for like three hours to just fucking be like, okay, I'm not even gonna. Yeah, When's the last time I'm you done. consistently done something for 28 days? I've, I've never. never. Yeah, like. Well, that's. I mean, but like drinking I, coffee, smoke weed, but, but no, that I, doesn't count. Like, like as far as all day activity, yeah, yeah, that's that insane. like he was on. He, he did a project, you that's know what insane. I mean. But uh, yeah, I mean, shout out to you guys. You know, I, I think if anything, you guys proved to the world that you guys' relationship is fucking bulletproof. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you feel me? So honestly, you guys, you guys reached the finish line. And shout out to the th thank you. And shout out to the person who said this earlier, like in our chat, like someone said, like. Um, you know, so many people will point out the arguments that have happened on stream or whatever it is, but no one points out the fact that so many arguments have had happened on stream. So much shit has happened on stream, you know, but guess what? Like they're still together and like they, you know, basically it shows that it's hard, you know, it's a relationship that they're fighting well, for. I think you guys could both agree. Like it would be petty if you guys broke up because of the chat. That's crazy. So yeah, it's kind of exactly. like, well, it, you got to kind of got to set like barriers. Like, okay. You can only break up. It's like this. <laughs> You gotta sign contracts, bro. You can't leave me, baby. You could break up with me if you pay me ten bands. Oh wow, a buyout no, no. contract. <laughs> Just a buyout is crazy. What's your girl's? What's your girl's buyout? <laughs> if she gives me a hundred bands, <laughs> she can <laughs> break She up. can leave her with the relationship. That's fucked up. No, no, sorry. Excuse me, a million. I'm tripping. That's how much her love is worth is a million dollars. Man, ten million. Stop playing with 10 me. Ten million dollars is how much her worth is love. Yes, her um, love is worth. We sorry. can split it. We can split it. But then you can't be together anymore. We, we if, don't give a fuck. If, someone asked, if someone asked me how much money would Riley have to pay me for for me to break up with her, I'd say no amount of money, because I don't want to break Stop up. Stop playing, bro. You said ten million. You said you said <laughs> twenty eight days. This nigga Lazy <laughs> is bullshit. Bro. What about you, Toke? No amount. Of oh money. wow, let me. I'm the bad guy here, man. Yeah. You said your girl's love is worth ten million. It's like ten million dollars or my girl's love for the rest of my life. Ah. I know. I think my life is pretty good right now, so I think I'm be chilling. I'm I'm the bad guy now, man. Stop playing. I don't even want to read the chat. I'm not even gonna like <laughs> I, listen to that shit. I know. Yo, I'm I, look over here. I think you but, left one of those packs at my house too. Bro, have them. Oh, you thank know, you. Lucy, shout out to Lucy, man. They 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 bless the office because oh, I'm I'm a big supporter of what they do, bro. I, I really respect just businesses and like I hope one day he has like a movie <laughs> based around him because like I've seen him be in the room go of like the the elites of the smoking world yeah literally the elites of the the say sowers of the smoking world yeah and i've seen him show them the product and they all said no this isn't good it's mm -hmm. too thin this isn't good oh no we want a darker taste like yeah they all said no to him you and just to see him grow this multi-million dollar company it's amazing bro shout out to my boy hamid bro i didn't really think about it until you brought that up but like i'm sure there's other industries that have the same thing too but i haven't really seen it in any other industry where like you can just enter and like get to such a big level so quickly right where, tobacco like, like yeah. not, not just tobacco but like in the weed world where like i've been you know i was a huge huge uh, pothead like for my whole life and like since 2012 i gone to the glass world like getting to the bongs and glass arts and all that stuff and i've seen so many people start bomb companies dabbing tool companies like all these random little things and go from no one to the king of the fucking or king or queen of the fucking weed market in this one aspect and they're yeah. mul bringing in multi-millions and you're like and it kind of shows you like that american dream aspect that's be still possible night. out here you know what i mean like that entrepreneurial capitalistic shit where you can you know go from zero, uh, rags to riches if you put in the work you know that is well <laughs> said bro because i believe that shit so much like the weed market is respectful and it's dope. I love I love people who. I wouldn't who, say it's respectful. I've heard a lot of. Sus no, I mean like I don't sell flower. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, in the I, flower I, market. I just do sure. a lot of uh, co-oping. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I, I co-work with them, so like, they they hit me up for designs, etc. So like, from my relations, just being somebody who's just like kind of like a, a subordinate almost. Like mm -hmm. I've I've seen it from like another perspective, and I respect it. I've they, seen people grow. Rex the rich is dope. The desktop audio? Um, okay. Okay, sorry about that. Um, they they say I look like uh, Shia LaBlazzy, man. Stop playing with me, bro. I'm not Shia, Shia LaBlazzy. I wonder what ever happened to him. Shia LaBeouf? Yeah. 
He got like he made a horrible uh, Latino movie, like, bro. Horrible. I, I, Riley and I went to the go tax see it. collect. You guys saw that that in a drive-in movie. You know he's from Hawthorne, right? No, he's from uh, East Los, or no, he's from like Lincoln Heights. He's he's from like that area, like Echo Park. He used to be in Hawthorne. I'm trying to tell you. We went to go watch that movie, like, and it was a dude. It's so corny. Movie. It is so dude. I swear, cringy. Like, as we were watching, I came into it with an open mind because I was like, I want to see if I can enjoy this movie, right? We were watching and watching and watching it. Next thing you know, it was the end. And I was like, dude, I was like, they literally flew past the my main complaint of that movie is like they did not like kind of build up the storyline too quickly. It was like this happens. Then and George years, Lopez dies. out bro, It's everything happens so quickly. You can't even fucking get to like experience. It doesn't feel like a movie. It what's feels that, like a uh, montage. What's almost. that fool's name? The, like the antagonist. I forgot. I don't this remember. This fool's crazy. Conejo. He's a rapper, too. I know he's, Conejo. He, man. Yeah, I'm going to forget you got an Oscar for that one. But, like, everybody else, do Like, the protagonist with the wife. Like, bruh. Like, this is so corny. Like, but I do love a good L.A. movie where it's like, oh, that's that one. Oh, they're in Koreatown. And did you hear the thing about the tattoos? What? Where Shia LaBeouf got his whole chest and back tattooed. And they could have done it for fake. They, they could have done fake tattoos for the movie. He said, nah, I want the real ones. I never knew that. He got the real, the movies you see in that, uh, the tattoos you see in that movie, uh -huh. he got done for real. I feel, That's crazy. I feel like he's doing huge. ketamine. And they're huge. They're like, they cover his whole chest and back. <clears throat> so yeah. he, nah, nah, he's seen the opportunity. He took it like, nigga, I've been wanting to get blasted. Why not get blasted for free? The movie... These, oh, these they'll people pay are gonna bring, yeah, they're gonna bring the best artists. So it doesn't like Shia LaBeouf can't afford a fucking tattoo. Yeah, but why not get it for free? They're gonna bring the best artists mm. in this motherfucker because they don't want the movie to look stupid. That's true, he, bro. He's yeah, he was thinking up top. Damn. He, he, you would do that if you got a movie role. You're like, bro, I need this tat. <laughs> unless it's like, unless I gotta put like a gang of the movie on my body. Probably yeah. Would you guys ever do that thing where like? They pay you to get a tattoo as a sponsorship. No. You're a sponsor king over here. Yeah, slot, I mean like, Lord. no. I mean like just on, a, a uh, on a metaphoric level. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I would never. Well, get, what if like, Loose Leafs was like, "Yo, Blazzy, we got uh, ten bands for you a month for the next year." I got a couple brands tatted on me that just my homie shit, just people that I respect. I'm about to get runs tatted this weekend. Okay, but what if like. Uh, not runs, but what if like you know Eddie's cannabis fucking hits you up and they're like, yo, can we get Eddie's cannabis on you for 10k a month for the next year, uh, or just like you know full three hundred thousand dollars to get Eddie's cannabis on you? Uh, I'll do it. If really? It's good. Like I'll, I'll I'll probably put it right right yeah. above uh, uh Miss fucking Mr. Krabs. <laughs> nah, but they would nah. It, it, if it's three hundred k, it's gonna be it's gotta be some big it's gonna be some big shit because you gotta think like about right here. Blueface. Nah. Blueface got that shit in his head. And now well, you got like a you got Avian Avian jewelers. No, it's like, like NYC that. jewelry or you got yeah, tracks NYC, NYC. jewelry, yeah. some shit like that. But it was for a chain. Oh hell no! So that's bad. And bro. I think the chain was like a hundred k. So you gonna have to get some crazy shit. Nah, I'm not doing all that, bro. All right, just run it up. Like getting another company just for like on uh, face tats insane too yeah like uh, the, yeah the the, the uh that like that tweaker dude who be doing the. I hit the bitch with the ch -ch -ch song. Yeah. Like, he be doing, like, I think he be doing sponsor tats. Oh, oh really? He got, like, I never heard of you right here. He got, like, Foods Gone Wild right there. I'm not going to lie. I think he might I, got Trash Bag Boys right here. I'm not going like to lie. That. I did want to. I never heard of you tattoo. That, 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 that logo's hard. Yeah. No, nah, that's just definitely dope. But, no, nah, I, I, I wouldn't do all that. I mean, Yuri did it for free with Twitch. Is it still on there? It wasn't free. It was $200. Oh, but you wouldn't get some other shit for free. Uh, no, I don't want any more tattoos at all. What's wrong with tattoos, man? You gotta get tatted up. Bro. Not, like they're for idiots. How am I? I'm idiot? joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, you, I have a tattoo as well. You think someone dumb could do this? Yes. No. Then where the where all the dumbasses? I'm it? joking. I just don't want a tattoo, dude. It's just like I don't know. I'm not. Uh, it's fine. I sometimes I swear, bro. Sometimes I have nightmares that I I. Uh, I like wake up and I realize I have all these tattoos on my body and I'm like, fuck, bro. I'm like, who's why the fuck did I do this? But whose tattoos would you rather have? Mine or Tokes? If you had a <laughs> oh, choose. Oh, like uh, your exact tattoos? Yeah, like full exact body. Exact tattoos. Yeah. But I have some crazy shit on Tokes. You have less than Toke does. You mm -hmm. haven't seen Toke this clothes off. Oh, yeah. Boss. No, I haven't. You got your whole shit like... 
my, my whole stomach, back. What? Everything, nah, man. I'm a fake. Uh, they call me. They would like laugh at me in the tattoo world. Like, nah, all my tattoos are like right here. Visible. I got two AK-47s tatted on my back. Damn. Yeah. Like full. Yeah. Bro, you are crazy. <laughs> like the whole back. And you be having it exposed when you surf. Uh, well, I not want to work unless like right now, yeah. Because but I'm at not, the I parties don't... though, you be having that shit exposed. I'm not taking my shirt off at parties. Yeah, you yeah, did you at do. the pool party. It's a pool party. It's a pool. <laughs> you're bumping hella blue bucks, huh? Yeah, facts. You're like only bitches. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been banned from all of Toke's parties after that pool party. Apparently, well, yeah. No, fuck you. And uh, no, no, what no, happened? No, not you, but like. I heard somebody random try pulling up. They did. That's weird. That would fuck up my day. I don't. Yeah. I don't like random. Bro, I, I, random. I swear when I was like <clears throat> walking in, I saw that situation. I thought it was like a friend that like got an argument with another friend or some shit like that. Like that was the last uh, thought of mine. And then also I saw he was standing with the girl, so I was assuming he was with the girl. Yeah. But then I forgot who told me. I think it was your cousin. He was like, he was like, he came in by himself randomly. Yeah. And he's like, we don't even know this dude. I was like, what the fuck? That's yeah, we're like, like, nah, we're not doing that, bro. Who the fuck yeah. does that? They're just yeah. like, hey, yo, this uh, apartment. Let's see uh, the AK tat. I don't. Can we do that? I don't think we gonna get age restricted. Maybe. I, bro, I literally was fucking real. on stream with you shirtless many times. Pause. I know, but we want this monetized though. Oh my god. Um, also, you, you know what? You know what? Uh, I forgot, Blazzy. You asked me earlier, like, what's some of my favorite memories from the stream? For sure, also one of my favorite memories. Pause. But uh, when Toke slept over. He fucking was so drunk, he like knocked out instantly. He was like snoring hella loud. And then at one point, he was like snoring. He was like, Oh, <laughs> you out the crib, bro. 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 What? Well, Strike know, three. I'm wa- I'm waking you, you up. Tell it. Let bro, you tell I'm it. tired. You know what? Because I be seeing people in the chat, like, and that's one of those things I can't stream because I get pissed off. People really think I like took a shit. And I saw somebody's like, Wow, all that disrespect, but like, didn't he took his shit on your floor one it's time, been, dude? It's been confirmed by no, like, the whole dude. sandbox can, crew. Can we just like put jokes aside, bro? Like, you know, like, bro. As soon as I got there the next morning, that was the first thing they told me it was like, Blasi took a shit on the floor. I was no, like, I didn't, what? bro. And I, and I was still, I was still in the gulag. So yeah. how could I even spread this rumor? It was, it was <laughs> a thing. thing you did, motherfucker. I was in the gulag. I can't even say. I didn't even have my phone. Your chat perpetuates that. Uh, and like, bro, my girl uh, read some shit like that. She's like, what the fuck. <laughs> t- I'm like I'm like bro like I swear it gets weird man I don't like I that shit, shit bro. my girl read that shit like yeah this nigga shit on the floor bro that's not cool but I did not bro are you, ash- are you ashamed of your actions I admit I farted <laughs> <laughs> and you laughs I admit I farted <laughs> <laughs> but like what Farting's natural bro You fart all the time Thank you You're nasty ass Let you just tell it Could you just say You would <clears throat> kick me out the house right now Well he should have done that I would have But you just said it's natural If Yuri was at my crib bro Laying down in the hey, kitchen but, And farted I'd be like bro You hey, gotta but, get out But Blasi There's like There's one thing That like was like Pretty mythical and legendary About that fart I quote unquote That is the reason Why it's still talked about To this day Is there was one microphone all the way upstairs in the gulag with a closed door you were down all the way downstairs past the living room in the kitchen on the floor your fart was so loud somehow my mic all the way upstairs in the room picked it up and even the chat was like yo who farted i'll bet you 20 bucks that's cap Ah, they, no. finna, they finna flood your DM with the clip. No, nah, exactly, bro. exactly. There's a fucking DM out there. I, I've already I, seen the clip. I think even Giselle I'll bet you a hundred dollars right now Bro, you'll give a hundred dollars to whoever can provide the clip yeah, bro. All right, yo, whoever can provide the clip to Blazzy of him farting during that fucking gulag stream, um, he'll give you $100. Right there. I'm sure. I remember Giselle confirming this a, w- a while ago. Yeah, bro. I don't do shit like that, man. Stop playing. Like that, That's nasty. That's nasty. And also, notice how Beans isn't here today because he's been banned. No, nah, I said Beans. Is, you know what, man? I, I, I be trolling. You lift it. You lift I, it I could. I could admit when you know. Giselle be, said she didn't confirm it. Don't throw her in there. Oh, thank wow. you. Thank That's you. crazy. And shout out to uh, Spliff Mode Giselle in the chat. She was helping me ban people. <laughs> <laughs> she was going crazy, man. Stop You're playing. So funny, bro. Stop playing with the home. <laughs> I don't bro. know if I should say it or not, but it's so funny. I feel like I should say it. Say what? It. <laughs> You were going on such a crazy banning spree. I did not, bro. No. I was protecting you. People were disrespecting you, bro. 
My I, bad for being a good friend. No, I know. I, I appreciate you have people that like will turn their back. Like you're just like, oh, you got rid of fucking Joe, Joe from the stove. Like, why would you do that? And so, it's like, okay. bro, he he talks shit behind your back. Okay, I'm not gonna say. He talks shit behind your back, bro. Right, I'm not gonna say, but I heard that Blazzy, you did like ban people who were just like, hey, what's up? What's going on here? Ban. <laughs> <laughs> I on everything I love, bro. I did not do that. That's funny. I, bro, what? That's dumb. Like. And that would get old. You you unmod me, bro. I didn't. I did not do that. Okay. All right. I believe you. Thank you, bro. Like no more <laughs> shitting on the floor. No more like <laughs> like Nazi banner. Nazi banner. Okay, I got you. I'm bro. Not into that. You know, like. <laughs> well, it's out there. That shit's never going away, bro. I mean, bro. Like Joe Mama. Yeah, you banned Joe Mama, bro. He's chill. What? You banned Tugs Burner? No. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. Now I would just unban myself. <laughs> you could unban yourself? Yeah, I'm a mod. I'm not sure go, if you I would can, just go on my other account. I'm a mod, but I don't know but how to... As long as I catch it oh, in the shit. chat, I can unban myself. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. right. That's true. I, I'm a mod, bro, but like I don't know how... Yeah, I'm, I don't know how to do the uh, the emojis and shit, bro. Yeah. Like They be having to spit my cereal one. What's up with... Uh, uh, what what's up with this uh, uh th- this photo of me, bro? I saw a photo of me from like being like fifteen years old. I don't know as an that, emoji. I don't know where that photo came from either. Someone just like sent my disc uh, in the chat. Bless you. They're like, yo, check out the photos in the Discord uh, for um, emote submissions. And it was that photo of you in the fedora? <laughs> that, that was your swag back in the day, bro. It was like that's some true. like man. You feel me? You go to the uh, the parties. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just like some shuffler swag. I didn't shuffle or anything like that. I just kick it there. But like. Man, I'm, I might grab a fedora. You feel me? I'd, but like, you, but it was For just what? like that was like fly. Like, look, this was the swag, bro. You put a fedora on. You know, you got the curly hair. You know, and then uh, you got the button up. You know, blue, maybe from like H and M or something like that. You got the cardigan, man. You got some cargo shorts. Some, yeah. some, you know, you just chilling. But like cargo shorts with the fedora is a vibe for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy observation. <laughs> like, bro, what are you? I was looking like Pharrell, bro. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> I was looking like Pharrell would be doing this. No, you looking like Felipe, motherfucker. <laughs> like, oh, fucking Pharrell. <laughs> nah, but man, somebody could attest on me there for the um, you know, for the fedora swag. I do want to say though, what happened with house phone? Man, he he uh he said he just had like a you feel me he just wasn't some shit feel- to handle yeah he just wasn't feeling well no he just wasn't feeling well okay and mm-hmm. he was yeah he wasn't he wasn't gonna come here and he wasn't gonna be a hundred percent so he's just like yeah I'm gonna just stay I yeah. feel that no I have fun doing this bro like I I don't I try to like make sure the only thing that's been consistent in my life for the last two years is doing a podcast every Thursday night. Damn, damn, that's damn. the only consistency I have in my life. That's true. Everything else is kind of just like this is the only anchor. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I don't take vacations. If I, if I, if I have gone on a break since, I think I missed like a total of like three episodes ever. Mm. But if I four, excuse me. But like if I ever go on a break, like I make sure it's like okay Friday and I'll come back Wednesday or Thursday. You ever think about that with the anchor thing? Where like I feel you on that as well for sure. Where uh, you know there's certain things like we you know Riley and I have been doing ten talks for like over two years now and yeah. shit, and uh, and like a couple other you know reconnected as well, and then also you know disconnected before, and uh, like there's a couple other things where it's like I'm just not tied down in a negative way, but it's like you got to be there for like some responsibility shit. But you ever think about those types of people that live out there that just have like no anchor, like they they just like live in you know. It was fun, man. Live, I ain't gonna by, lie. The, live by the breeze. I think that uh no, nah, I think my productivity will still be the same. I'll probably like try to like have some i think i'll be too because i get i get all my socializing all my pent-up like energy out here yeah you know what i mean so like how long have you not been working like a like a consistent nine to five job like how long have you been doing this creative i worked at chinatown market uh as a designer there like nine to five for like six months like and prior to that like i mean like real like fucking blue collar job like six years ago and so sorry five years ago now I, I hit my five year anniversary uh, in February. Damn, so February fifteenth. So for you, like you know, an anchor, just like uh, you know, a reconnected once a week is the only anchor. Yeah, that's the week. first time. And I've you had... could you could work you could go to Thailand and be making designs. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I mean I think about that all the time, bro. Like man, like it's expensive. Like I'd be looking at my homie Half Evil. Shout out to George. Like I, I got an office. I got a warehouse. I got ABC. You know. I'll, and my boy just be doing computers on his laptop, be doing graphics on his laptop. You know what I mean? And just like handling that shit in his living room. Yeah. Sometimes I'd be asking myself, am I doing mm-hmm. this shit wrong? 
yeah. about that. And it's interesting, right? Because like it's like I'm not sure that people's livelihoods are depending on you here because like you I say all the time, they all have their own things going on here, you know, but when you do build up like a warehouse and get like in no, employees and shit like that, it gets to a point where you have people's livelihoods depending on you. Well, they but do. Then, but then you do this calculation where you're like, I could just do this off my laptop without, you know, these 20 employees. Why don't I do that? You know, no, and because things like I need a whole shipping team. So I need two people there every day. If I had to ship this week, bro, I'd probably fucking kill yourself. I'd be complaining on Instagram. Life's hard. Nah. I hate, you know, like, thank God. I'm very thankful, bro, like, for my people. Like, yeah. And Chris, like, he, that's his, this is his full-time job. He gets paid, you know, salary and shit like that. Yeah. So, like, um, like, it, it's like, fuck my bills, fuck my dreams. Like, now, I, like, they're paying their things. They're, they're buying their mom food through this. You feel me? So, I got to. Yeah. Like, I got to take these, these fun serious. It's no longer like, oh, you could buy whatever you want. Like, no, exactly. I had a great drop. Uh, you know, I, I got myself a couple of things at the store, but like, and honestly, I, I, I didn't, I didn't do it. I, you know, like we were talking about earlier about, about the reinvesting thing. I feel like it's exciting where like, I, I feel like if you, for example, if you have a t-shirt brand and you have a successful drop, I feel like a lot of people might think that, oh, you get a hundred thousand dollars you're just gonna be rich and get to blow your money be successful but i feel like if you're in those shoes already making products and stuff like that or in in some sort of business where you're making money like that you you find that you get that money and you're like yes now i could reinvest into doing something bigger and better every time Uh it's almost exciting to be like oh yes now i can improve my product instead of thinking like oh yes let me tone things down cut some corners and make extra profit you're thinking like i feel like most people feel like oh yes let me make my shit better let me make the packaging yeah. sicker yeah let me fucking use more colors i don't know i just want to pay respect to my customers and speaking like, speaking of which bro that card you posted earlier that, that your package <laughs> stayed on the truck that yeah shit is man salute shit. salute that man shout out to shout to my supporters bro that's a little like that's a little uh a little old to a, a little uh, Easter egg for uh, you yeah. know my reconnected watchers out there, yeah. bro. Your package ended up on the back of the truck. You know you're good. It's just at your residence now. But and those but, are, those are the small things that like you know. Oh, it's about to get smaller. Oh my goodness! Like now everything that I have, like I make sure that comes uh, with a little trinket or something. It's a lot of yeah. I'm gonna be doing a lot of free stuff. Like I've been studying so many unboxing videos like the last six months, bro. Just watching videos on like. You know what uh, San Andreas did for their special edition yeah. for the PS2, or what yeah. what what uh, Resident Evil did for their GameStop exclusive, yeah. like the random little sword, or like yeah. you know what WWE and like the, the, or or what Apple's you know iPhone came with the new the sticker new, and what else you know the new Zelda game that just came out, like bro, ask Riley like to keep up with all the secret collectibles that came out with it is like it's a task all on its own, and honestly, like that's one of the things that attracted me towards like ass pizza shit back in the day was the fact that you see a t-shirt right you're like oh it's 40 bucks or 50 bucks like oh that's sick let me get the t-shirt you get the t-shirt number one nowadays it comes in a cool poly bag that has his logo on it it makes you almost feel like oh i want to keep this poly bag right just as like a little design early you know like uh, Salute like you, fucking uh, display piece not only that but he'll include like pins and shit and like stickers or whatever it is and not only that but you later you realize after you know a couple months after the drop that some of the pins you got come in a series that uh, you know, some of them are rarer than others, and all that shit. Those are free things that you get by buying shirts. There's no way to buy the pins. Yeah. You can only get them by supporting the uh, the product, and you might get the one golden pin that yeah. there's three of. And I was like, that itself is really sick and interesting. You know what I mean? Like to add these like little bonuses and shit that cu- the customer gets more of, and then also adds like a little more lore to your brand yeah. as well. You know? Yeah. So that that's kind of also like what I what I kind of uh, purpose my uh, sometimes like. I'll, I'll buy things just to like really see okay what does like if i were to grab this from target what does all what are all these little components about you feel me and mm-hmm. I, I just i like that shit bro you're just building lore you feel me you're just developing your own fantasy world no facts exactly. and it's just like okay like now like you're, you're really you're really in the know if you have this you know like what i want to see I, I i was feeling froggy i didn't post it though but i was like i want to see someone post all three of the thank you cards I've dropped because those are all exclusives Uh, where it's like you won't have it unless you you know buy something and it's random how you get it right and the poly bags like we're already on our we're we're already on like second gen but like we're gonna do a a, oh bro I promise y'all y'all do not know the poly bag I'm about to drop chef's kiss A1 but imagine someone out there drops a photo to like got all the poly bags you know what I mean? Like type shit. Yeah. That yeah. shit's sick. People and, be hanging them on their wall like flags, like I said with the ass pizza thing. And also with, with brands like yours and other brands, I'm sure like 
you know, people like random people will be at a Knott's Berry farm, see another dude with the fucking nothing personal shirt and be like, yo, well, you know, like shout to Blasi or whatever. Like it was they just, be like saluting each other. Exactly. Like, what? You know, yeah, no, I, you know, it's crazy. I was uh, I had a, a, a nothing personal uh, zip up, like, you know, like the half zip one time. Right. I was like going to the store, like a random grocery store too, not even like anywhere near my house or anything, but just like a random grocery store. And somebody came up to was like, yo, you fuck with nothing personal. They were like, wait. Pa Lord, <laughs> but then they, they came crazy. up first to me all like because I had the nothing personal shit on. Man, you made me cry. That's I was dope like, though. Damn, I, I, I like uh, uh, it be fucking my head up, bro. Like I, it still don't really hit me. Like I try not yeah. to run into people. Just as, it just be like confusing me sometimes. Like what the nah, fuck? Nah, that shit's bro? dope. People fuck with your shit, bro. You going crazy? Okay. You definitely going crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. But it's just like I don't. It's a little. It's very overwhelming because <coughs> I don't know how. I, like it, it's hard to live in the moment because you got You got to keep dropping and shit. You know. It Damn, it's a lot of messages deleted. Yeah. Jesus, you guys need speak a, on no jumper. Speak on you no know jumper, what? Yuri. I feel like why? Because I I feel like at a certain point, like I I a hundred percent agree with the whole thing of. You know. It's like my whole life isn't based around that. You know what I mean? Like that platform or whatever it is. Like I do my own That's thing. Right. Yeah. I have my own community of people that support me. I have like people that it's like we have our own. We have yeah. our own community of people that support us. Yeah. Like why are we going to? It's like just why? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like at that point, there's really I, like honestly, I, I'm only saying that not because I'm avoiding conflict because I already like gave my little opinion on it. But um, why say it again on this platform? Yeah. Number one. Number two is it just from what I've seen in the comments is just a fucking a, promotional scam you know what i mean like not scam yeah. but like promotion like a promo thing for the thing that's coming out or whatever yeah. it is would Ooh. you would so. you file a lawsuit <laughs> <laughs> uh well honestly those comments are really like uh, kind of like justified for almost like something along those lines for that's an ex a fact. Ex employee female yeah yeah i'm not gonna lie yeah it's not no, that's cool, the thing. Man. it's not okay yeah 100 percent. Riley okay. doesn't bug nobody you know and, what I mean? And anyone that knows Riley would know that's not a joke that she would be like, oh, ha ha. Yeah, like. Who thinks that's funny? Mm -hmm, exactly. A child? Defense mechanism? <laughs> so to speak. All right. Anyway. <laughs> but I, I think that, uh, um, yeah, I think you just, I mean, you already proved to the world that, like, what you could do on your own. I think you proved to yourself. Facts. That's the number one thing for sure is, like, I'm, uh, uh Blasi remembers, dude, like, when I first left you know that I'll the same thing that company full time like I was like calling Blasio I was like I don't know if I should do it like should I do it I was talk, having the same conversations with Riley too and and Blasio just telling me he's like bro like you know what I mean like dude like you know you're always gonna have like cold you know feet for doing th this type of shit but he was like reminding like reminding me like bro like Harmonious gang is strong like you've done so much shit on your own already and like and then you could also just invest all that new time into just making shit better more and more uh, consistent and um, and not only that, but just like, you know, one thought that's always been in the back of my head, like was always the long term thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like what yeah. happens? Look at what happened four months ago. Fucking everyone's gone. You know what I mean? Like, so just like yeah. you don't ever like I, there's no faith in like some sort of long term plan there. Right. No, yeah. Facts. You know, and yeah, I, I'm just excited to see you kind of like take on new endeavors, bro. Like you, you're very cold. You feel me? Like you guys don't need nobody. You, oh, know? God. you guys don't need nobody but yourself. And I'm, that's why I'm so thankful for like the chat. Like you guys make us feel really good. You know, like <laughs> I can't believe that, uh, uh, you know, we have this audience. Like if you told me this three years, even, yeah, three, four years ago, I'd be doing pot. Like, it, you know, I'd always wanted to like stream. I can't, I, I can never stream, but I always wanted to stream. So like doing this is pretty close to it. So it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, sh I should be working right now on my laptop. I got hella projects, but man, fuck all that, you know. But uh, gotta uh, do the pot. you know, I I just want I just want to end it on that note right there. Either way, shout out to everyone in the chat. Appreciate you guys so much, man. If you guys can man. after the show, man, you finna do it at the uh, like Thursday <laughs> Thursday uh, well, he's rituals. On, he's on stream. So. Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna be on stream as soon as we end that this is one. After show, basically. There's you know, I mean, just like what we do on what Thursdays. episode are we on? 21, man. 21. Go get yourself a beer. Facts. Stop yeah, playing facts. with me, man. If you're of age. It's only one, no fucking. Ooh, the pot is of bro, age Bro, I got drunk on Monday, man. What was Monday? The, I what? got drunk yesterday. That's why I'm not drinking like that right now. Hey, shout out to the Nice Guy in West Hollywood. That sounds very vague. No, it's a Yo. restaurant called the Nice Guy. I thought you meant like actually yeah, hey, like nice the Nice Guy. I was like, what? Shout out to that Nice Guy. No, the, the restaurant's called the Nice Guy, bro. You guys need to go. If you guys ever want to like 
have a cool little like dark room with slow jazz like mm. doom doom i recommend the <laughs> pesto like bruh go there and also go to a delilah's man i i've learned that's a really nice restaurant yeah delilah's is nice bruh that's fun i, I like restaurants man but uh I'm fat as hell, bro. I also go to Mr. Ch- get back. I, I, I also I, go to Mr. Chow. That's just fire. I never Chow. been Mr. Chow. I'm not really an Asian cuisine kind of guy. Um, I, I like um, I, I like American, Mexican, and like Italian. I guess I don't know. I guess I'm boring, but uh, <laughs> no, you for sure. I really just a lot. Yeah, I eat a lot of Mexican food. That's really what I eat the most. So, yeah. not sushi. Uh, no, I really eat more Mexican food than anything. Oh yeah. What about you, Yuri? Um, I think also maybe Mexican food, but like I don't know, a bunch of home cooking. They from say Riley, that's like the most popular food. A bunch. Well, we're in LA, you know, but uh, yeah. she, she cooks a bunch of it's like super you know, unhealthy chicken, though. Chicken in different ways. And There's stuff no like healthy that. Mexican food. That's crazy. Everything's like corn. Well, honestly, bro, you could find unhealthy aspects about damn near every food. No, but like, there's no like healthy like like what fucking uh. Um, well, honestly, corn already. Yeah, like that's known to be not really good. Like for cactus you. and shit. Like that's just nasty, cactus. bro. Damn. No, right, my, my, mom's still, put, oh, okay. my mom's put that shit in the eggs. Either way, shout out to you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. No we'll Please see you guys like, for the next comment, episode. Subscribe, man. Love y'all, man. Salute, man. Still live on my YouTube channel as well. Oh, uh, yeah. For the quote unquote. Oh, yeah. Hey, also, too, slot show tomorrow at 12, man. I'll be here at 12 tomorrow, man. So, uh, please pull up. You want your music heard, man. Let's go. Thank you That's guys so much. That's not true, man. Come on. Don't touch.